Oh, wait, is my mic on? Yep. Uh, Welcome. Oh, shit, we're recording. <laughs> You've downloaded the Thunk Tank podcast. God help you. And and bless your soul, um, if you have one. So this episode, we uh, basically, it, what, all things Turkey, Turkish, uh, Turkish culture, light, language. Tur- yeah. Um, um, food, cuisine. Food. Uh, we got into sure. topics as diverse as, like, camels. There were some camel discussions. All yeah. the way to lubricated Turkish wrestling. A little bit. Uh, you can find those links in the description, hopefully. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll link it in the description for sure. Joe, give a quick sum up of what, what our, our vibe is right now. We just got back from the gym. Yeah, and we decided that we couldn't do intros without beer. And yeah, so we're having, we're having a beer. Yeah. Uh, it didn't feel right without Have we without ever a beer. recorded any content for this podcast without at least one beer? I think we panicked once and started and we were like, wait, it this felt vibe, weird. Yeah, yeah, this vibe is off. Oh, we're not drinking beer. The yet. vibe doesn't quite uh, make any sense without at least like I you know, I'm going to go teach in a second here, like <laughs> but I got to have a beer. Not that you have to drink to have fun. It just helps. Yeah, you just have to. <laughs> so the first order of business is one of the Patreon um reward levels patreon is a website where you can sort of donate money to creative projects and so we have a few different tiers uh you can find the links for this kind of shit in the the episode notes yes one of the tiers joe put uh that i had to read a poem in turkish to say thank you to somebody who gives five dollars or more per episode and look it worked so here we are. I wrote one. This and is what happens when you sign people up for this shit. This was just uh, perfect timing like it, that it happened to land on the episode about Turkey that yeah. it's a first uh, $5 Patreon subscriber. Yeah, so thank you, Patreon subscriber. So I'll read the poem real quick and then translate it. I think it's really beautiful. It gets deep. It's it's deep. It's very deep. Gülar kırmızıdır, menek şeyler mor, karnım çok acıyor. Galiba tuvalette gitmem gerekiyor ama siz bize para verdiniz teşekkürler. Kovalasın sizi kırpılar. That was all gibberish. Basically right. that means roses are red, violets are purple. <laughs> it's the best word they have for, for sure. blue. <laughs> I guess not. They Wait, have a word blue for mommy? blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, the one my stomach is hurting a bit. <laughs> Me thinks... <laughs> Thanks. Galiba, like me thinks, oh, I have really? to go to the toilet. <laughs> Literally, me me thinks to the toilet, my going is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave us money, so thanks. May Porky Pines follow you. That's. I just had to end it with something. So that's that's rich in in. So the thanks to our uh, Patreon subscriber. Anyone else who wants to have a beautiful Turkish poem read to them, uh, with with my beautiful tenor of a voice. Yeah. Give us $5 per episode. Except the fact whoever is listening to this right now who doesn't know us is thinking, what the hell is this? Yeah, maybe you stumbled upon this podcast and God help you if you did. Well, they probably typed in Turkish Greece wrestling and this was one of the results, right? Well, that's what I'm trying to optimize so that everybody who searches for Turkish lube lube (laughs) wrestling gets us. We got to cut into that market for sure because (laughs) there's like at least five or six videos on YouTube about this. Um, So for for digging into this Turkish episode... um, we brought on my girlfriend, who's Turkish. She's been here for about three years. We figured let's um, learn something about Turkey that isn't just camels, which but also camels. That that turned out to be the fact or fiction. Something about camels. We learned about forest camels, beach camels. Well, don't spoil it too much. You, right. are, you already spoil, spoil so many movies in this episode. Spoiler too. alert. No, no, that was the the other episode. Which we will do an intro. Yeah, we're gonna for. do an intro for that in a second here. <laughs> but what if we confuse them? Oh shit. All right. Um, well, enjoy. Was there anything else that, that we had to do in this intro? Oh, so we do this little game in our podcast where as we oh, yeah, get to the right. end, we try to hang up on each other. So well, like somebody has to hang up. Somebody has to hang up. Otherwise, it won't happen it's in the like podcast. It's like Highlander. There can only be one. Right. And they're already Spoiler too alert. long, right? Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Like, if you listen all the way through, thanks. But, yeah. you know. We got to give you something at the end to stick around for. Right. Yeah. And so uh, this week, Johnny crushed us by hanging up on us while in the middle of a story about janissaries well you're spoiling it again you're giving details well in any case it didn't work because the idiot doesn't know how to record podcasts on his computer actually you know i think it was his computer's fault to be perfectly honest yeah but he's a genie he should be in control oh this is definitely confusing first time listeners even more you're like oh the genie fucked up his 
In any case, recording. usually whoever hangs up and wins gets the last word, but not this time. He genied himself. So, Joe, do you want to record something after we do this right yeah. now and yeah. just sort of like say yeah. fuck you to Johnny? Yeah, we'll be Johnny. So we'll play as Take Johnny. a listen for that at yeah. the end. We're about to just rip Johnny apart for not yeah. – uh, uh, properly recording his USB I was just mic. about to do an offensive genie accent. I'm not quite sure what that means yet. Well, we'll think about it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for downloading. Stick um, around to find out more. <laughs> uh, share the podcast with anybody you think might be interested. That's like, the 100% easiest and best way to help Hashtag. us out. And if you really want to help us out, consider uh, throwing. We should even put like a 50 cent tier on Patreon. Like, That's an option? Yeah. You can make it as low as one cent. I feel like we should just make it you know, as low as possible. I'm willing to go as low as possible. Let's go as low as 25 cents. I I, I do a quarter. Yeah. Flip us a quarter. So w- yeah, w- we fair. might be reworking the rewards there, but the point is like uh, Check the more out. money we get, the more uh, equipment, microphones, and time we can put into this. So as opposed to speaking through socks. Right. Right now I'm speaking through a homemade pop filter, which is a sock tied around a hanger. So you know, which already has consider holes in giving it. us like a quarter per episode. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. All right. Peace. Enjoy. Enjoy. Attention, humans. This is a thunk tank. Please insert this podcast directly into your nearest orifice for viewing pleasure. Okay, you ready? Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the thunk tank. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the thunk tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, there you go. Welcome, come into our, come into our thing. Luke, don't switch to the other peanuts. <laughs> Welcome to the thunk tank. Come in the tank. We're thinking. And we're thinking. And we're thunked. And we're thunked. Oh my god, I'm probably more beer than man if we go far enough back at this point. I just hit record, so it's going. All right. Hey, Yanka. I I got a question for you. I was reading online about a Turkish dessert that has chicken in it. Yep, we have that. Is it? Is it? But like the description, I couldn't really. They didn't really tell you what it tastes like. Is it sweet? Is it what we think of as a dessert, or is it just really? It's what? The last thing I didn't hear the last word. Is it? uh, Is it? Is it just really flavorful, or is it? Like dessert flavor, like a sweetness. It, to it. is sweet. It's it's like a rice pudding with some chicken in it. Imagine that, but it still tastes like rice pudding. And I still that have no idea good. why we put the chicken in it, but we have shredded chicken. In but it. it's good it's with weird. the chicken in it. It is good. A lot of people like it. I don't necessarily like it, but it tastes can, sweet. Can you have it without the chicken? You can. It would be a rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, what I mean. It's just yeah. rice pudding then. So it's we, rice pudding with chicken in it. Okay. Yeah, you put. Sounds I mean, why good. not get a little protein while you're getting a dessert, right? I'm all about I protein. So yeah. I guess we probably will have done this in the intro. That's future perfect tense, by the way. Um, but uh, <laughs> oh, this oh, is uh, he's he's in performance mode today. This is our is uh, our Turkish on. episode. Who knows what the hell the title is going to be? But uh, we'll come up with something. We've got else. our resident uh, Turk. Is that is that we? Uh, that's a hard T there. Yeah, is that what yeah is that what we're supposed to call you? It's a very hard T. We got a Turk today. Welcome into the thunk tank. Get get all kinds of thunky with us, Yanka. Hi. Welcome, Yanka. I, or should I'm I say Yanka? Yanka. Oh, not Yanka. Yanka. Uh, so Yanka. We're, I'm never going to be able to. We're, we're, I haven't figured it out yet. Don't worry about it. We're going to try and do an episode all on like um, various things, Turkey, Turkish, language, culture, whatever. Animal. And maybe Devils. Ottoman I didn't say anything yet. Empire, animal, <laughs> Turkey. We... Let's just, anyways, that's today's episode. <laughs> I Can we... I'm hitting this one out of the yet. park. Yeah, I have yet to say anything offensive. I'm very excited. Yeah, not yet. It's coming. Not yet. It's coming. <laughs> but um, fair warning. But so Yanka knows that can, hanging can, out. With can me. Yanka just briefly explain Turkey to me? Just yeah. in like two some, minutes. Just your impression two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. of yeah. Turkey. Um. I don't know where to start. So one in interesting information, 97% of the country is in the Asian continent and 3% of it, three, right? Yeah, 100. 3% of it is in Europe. So that's interesting. That's Turkey. And um, it's in Middle East, I guess, like I would say. I knew it. <laughs> but some sources. <laughs> they call it Asia Minor. Yeah, Asia Minor, Euro Anatolia. Asia. 
Euro Asia, Anatolia is Where's the Asia middle major? part of it. Yeah, so it has very different descriptions. I don't know which one to call, to be honest. Maybe like yeah. Middle East more lately, unfortunately. But Euro Asia is like made. It's like a weird, I don't know, combination of West and East and stuff like that. So yeah. That's Turkey, What's your favorite thing about Turkish culture, though? Um, so, by, by the way, maybe... We, no. Who knows what we'll no. say in the intro, because we haven't done it yet. But um, <laughs> Yanka's been here for about three years. Going yeah, to, I'm, uh, I'm always wondering, not like, I don't want a history lesson on Turkey. I just want to know what her experience, like, what, in your frame of reference, like, grow, you grew up there, right? Did you grew yeah. up in a city, and, like, mm -hmm. what, what, what was it like, and how does it compare now that you've lived in America for a while to how, like, our towns and cities and culture, like, what, what, you know, if you, now that you see what ours is like and you know what yours is like, how would you describe it to us? Um, so... I'm from Istanbul. I'm not from Istanbul, but I lived in Istanbul in most of my life, I guess, t over 10 years before I moved here. And um, it's like very diverse and like, I don't know, like a lot of, it's like a melting pot. So it feels like New York City a little bit. It's not like anything that I don't know. It's not like oh, like you must be riding camels or like whatever, like desert. desert There's not like desert. animals all over the roads. Like yeah. I. Yeah, no animals it's a, all over it's, the roads. Yeah, it's like an it's American, one of the oldest like, cities in the maybe. world. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it is old. It's weird because like, now it's like a. I don't know. I'm just gonna start talking about Istanbul actually, because awesome. that's where I lived. But um, now it's like a combination of weird skyscrapers, but at the same time like really old historical stuff, like from sure. before, like in, in ancient history. Whatever. Well, it's a huge city, right? It is huge, yeah. yeah. But now it's like a combination of both things. Like it's weird. It kind of looks weird. Like you see like a really historic something. Is that like? Right? Have you ever been to London? Yeah, I've been. Is it kind of like that where you have like a lot of old historic, like the Tower of London, but then you have that yeah. that giant spire it's thing? A lot exactly. Older, well, yeah. London did it very successfully. We didn't do it really successfully. It's just like a that? skyscraper, ugly here and there, and then it's like a nice building in between. And they're yeah. like restoration. They did restoration, but it kind of looks ugly. Like I don't know. Like so, it's. It is like weird. That. I mean, you see all over Istanbul, like the the old like byzantine empire like castle structures on like the sides of walls and shit yeah. like like you know against the um what do you call it the bosphorus strait that yeah. goes through the city that's one of my favorite parts of the city is like the bosphorus strait goes right through right. istanbul oh so yeah. part of the city's on the other side right <laughs> half yeah, in asia half, half in europe asia, half which side's better yeah. That, there's no Great such question. thing. It's the exact same thing, basically. Like, you also saw it. But they People don't have, like, that... beef, like, one well, side no, is, like, I mean, oh, Asia Manhattan, side. Like... Manhattan and Brooklyn, one's obviously better. See, know? that's what I'm well, talking yeah, about. Well, yeah, but, but there are different boroughs. Both are Istanbul, right. so nothing's different, any okay. different about it. People live in Europe. They Their work is in Asia. Like, probably really no difference at all. Like people are not becoming like very. But there's no like bridge or anything about it. Yeah, there. Are there's three, three right? bridges yeah. right now. We had to. Now there's a third one. Istanbul has awful Xerxes traffic, one, by the way. Oh really? Yeah, what? really awful traffic. Oh yeah, hor well, horrible traffic. That's interesting that you say, said it reminds you of New York because it is a continental hub. For that's why there's been a city there for thousands of years. Cause yeah. It it bring it connects Asia to Europe pretty much, uh, yeah. by sea, and land almost. Yeah, almost um, land. <laughs> so, and there's been so many people moving like through that that connection for thousands of years. That it makes sense. It's really diverse. I don't know why I never. Well, it's thought been it. a capital too for of, of different empires too, which is interesting. Yeah. Because even Byzantine, like ancient Rome, they were like, Rome. "Fuck it, we're moving to uh, you know Constantinople. We're gonna call it now and just make it the capital because it's awesome." Yeah, I don't. Did. I don't think we necessarily are gonna go through a history thing because I don't know enough to do that. But if Johnny just I read all about know. it. If, I got um, some I got some anecdotes about interesting like stuff from military history and but but whatever we'll get into that later. I mean yeah okay. it'll it'll come up when it comes up but it'll like come up. just if you if you don't if you didn't realize like that Istanbul was Constantinople you should listen to they might be and giants. Was, yeah. <laughs> but uh, there, there's a lot of, of cool history there. That, yeah. I remember being there and like standing in these like like uh, what is it the um, Hagia Sophia? Yeah. Oh. And it's like I'm standing in the place things. where like emperors were crowned for the Holy yeah. Roman Empire, and yeah. it's just like yeah. oh my Byzantine god, Empire. like humans, you know? 
Yeah, it's from like seventh century or something. <laughs> I like, very. I old. like your social. And then there, there was there was a point there was a point in like the humans something. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my his, history lesson. It's like, dude, humans. You, you would fit right in in academia. <laughs> I feel like I would inspire more people by saying you something might. like that than be like, and then in the year 750, uh, uh, this conquered this, and then uh, like you're you gonna be like, tested on. I like how you sound like if Donald Trump had become an academic <laughs> instead if he had gone into the professing world. Yeah, I don't think he could be anything except president. Isn't except, that sad? Like he can he wild. can get by as president, but yeah. like no other job could he get well, by we'll as. We'll see. He couldn't even work at Walmart without getting in trouble, probably. For what though? They'd be like Donald, you know, like you clocked in wrong again. He'd be like, "What are you talking about?" You know, yeah. like Donald, you can't clock out to sh- like sit on the shitter for forty five minutes. Like... He hates being called Donald too. Does he? Yeah. That's why Hillary Clinton purposely called him Donald in the debate. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, she should have done a better job instead. Johnny, what beer are you drinking? That's a whole other issue. Uh, that, that was going to be my question. I'll tell you, but I also have questions about Turkish alcohol. I know it's oh. a oh, pretty yeah, I Muslim more country, about Turkish but alcohol. I have questions about it. But There's I am drinking beers. a beer from Burial Beer oh, Company, which comes up a lot on this podcast. But oh, you know God, what? Was... They make really good beer. I almost bought Burial today. I almost bought, I think, that same can, too, today, Johnny. The, uh, so I got the Skillet Donut. Donut stout. Oh, I haven't had that. Uh, it is a pretty dark stout. Uh, a lot How old of, is it? Is molasses, it milk, but and, and a little bit of coffee beans from Counterculture Ooh. Coffee, which is a big one in Asheville. I'm gonna Ca- have to keep it. Counterculture is based in Durham, actually, Johnny. Whatever. Yeah. I think I knew that actually. Oh yeah, I think I know. <laughs> yeah, never mind. We don't know where John. I think I know. From. I might know somebody who who works there, but he I may or not. may not be from. In well, why would you know Asheville integrately the cities well, of North Carolina? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, no, no, know? definitely not. Yeah, Oops, I just um, poured that's myself this whole beer. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like a pint? <laughs> no, I mean I'm just supposed to share it, but like we'll figure it out. <laughs> I mean it's fine. There's always. More I got beer. four more. Three. So more. what? Did, what beer did you almost pour all of to um, yourself? So I was actually almost oh, getting a burial, but Joe, you want to read it? This is a. a a, a beer what called um, uh, Barrier Five. What the fuck beer is this? It's got a five, bunch of numbers as the title. Five six three one. Yeah, I've never, never had, had it either. though. And uh, double dry hop. Bruce recommended it. So with Citra, uh, Amarillo, Mosaic, and Columbus. The name is five point six two five one. What? It, it just says five one six. Oh wait, is it? Is it like the area codes like five one six and then six three one? It could be because it's ba- where it's based. I have no idea. That's a really. That's let's see if it's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having right. said that, I love your beer, and please like, share, and subscribe, Barrier. Yeah. <laughs> I want yeah. to tweet at them or something. I don't know. I haven't decided. So what, you, what is Yanka drinking? She's also drinking these beers. We're just going to be sharing these gotcha. beers. And, I, I, and... I poured so, all the so beer, what kind of yeah. beer? Some, <laughs> Specifically, what kind of beer do they have in Turkey? And if they have any of their own native kind and or what kind of foreign beer do they drink? And is there native alcohol, like a type of liquor that made in Turkey that you have? that you guys have yes i'll start with the native alcohol we have rakhu okay. it's um i don't know it's similar to uzo do you are you familiar with that are you guys oh, yeah. it's greek uzo, it's yeah. sort of like a brandy right yeah not really it um, is it hmm. sweet no it has anise yeah in it. yeah anise it's like that herbal that kind of like oh exactly. anise like seed anise seed yeah, like some, i don't know how to pronounce mint. it i don't think anybody I, I does it's like either, uh yeah. it's like um uh, what do you call it? Worcestershire sauce. However the fuck. Yeah, I don't know how no, to you say nailed that. that I, don't, I don't even. Did try. I really? Is that how you say yeah. it? Worcestershire. Yeah. <laughs> See, like... I, I screwed it up. You nailed it. I bet you couldn't do it again, but you got it on the first. <laughs> no, I, I am tapping out. I'm going out on a high note. I'm yeah. Not yeah don't try to say it again. Yet. You're not so going to get that good. No I'm turning off my mic. So if drink. anyone wonders the the word we're arguing, anise aniseed is is very strong licorice flavor. If you know what licorice tastes like. It's got a licorice vibe, but it also you know like the um what's the maroon and white candy. Um, oh, good and plenty. Good and plenty. Yeah. The the mm. sort of sweetness taste is a little bit like good and plenty. Oh. Oh um, yeah. No it's like one, licorice, but intensely sweet. So sleep. raka is is like clear, but when you add water to it, it turns cloudy. So they usually have it with a little bit of water to it, and then a glass of water on the side, because. Oh God. What is it? Yeah. It's like forty something oh, percent alcohol. It is, yeah, around. Do you but, drink it on the rocks or just? <clears throat> yeah, it depends. Yeah. Um, some people think that it's just changing the taste of it so they don't put any ice in it but yeah I, I do they do, a lot of do they do. age it uh like, no not really no you just drink it's, it yeah you just like <laughs> buy the bottle drink it and, and what kind of vibe is that just like that's what people drink at home or they no, go out it or... has yeah you can drink it at home in any kind of occasion it's it has its own like respect and right respect. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird it's like so. wine sort of not really wine well it's like you, you know, wouldn't I mean, culturally 
you like, wouldn't you have say, it. Let's have some. Oh, you mean? I see what you mean. I mean, what she's saying is like I remember like she said to me once like, oh, you don't just have it in your pajamas, you know. Okay. Like, mm. like you, yeah, like you, you have would to put, put on a suit on, a suit on, on yeah. you know, like oh, okay. wine is too elegant and elite, I think, compared Wait. to that. You can just drink it in like a really. So is it a type of li- like li- like liqueur or liquor or whatever it is, or is it a brand? <laughs> like, are there good? Oh, versions? it's a type, oh, it's of, a liquor. type of liquor. So yeah. there's like good high quality versions, and then like you know. Cheap... Usually it's high quality. There are like just two general, or three yeah. versions. Yeah, just in general, yeah. it's it's okay. high quality. But... I mean, you can get it around here. Like we bought a bottle for like I don't know twenty five bucks at a liquor store. Not every liquor store will have it, but like one out of ten. We'll have it, yeah. Exactly. Okay. You'll also, um, cool. it's kind of depressing to have it by yourself. You can have it, but usually that's it's true like of a, a lot friend. of liquor. I had it by myself yeah. once during a snowstorm because like I forgot to got beer, forgot to get beer. No, you forgot to got. Beer. I forgot to got it. I forgot to got beer. So I was like, well, I'm kind of bored. I want to watch a movie yeah, and like have some about beer. Your Come on. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about your English. Um, <laughs> by the way, like uh, uh, one of the angles that I I found interesting when thinking about doing a turkey episode. Gobble, gobble. Is it a Turkey uh, episode or a Turkish episode? <laughs> Turkish episode is um, <laughs> like I I've talk. I've learned Turkish over the past like two years, huh. um, which makes and I I just learn. found it so fascinating like learning a new language and Yanka learned English like incredibly fast she she basically couldn't um, speak well like let's say three years ago and then like crash studied to like pass the TOEFL and 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 get into a graduate school in the U S so I I found it fascinating to not just learn a second language but to like think about what a language is you know like um have you ever joe or johnny heard about like noam chomsky's like shit that he talks about with language and like how kids acquire language and stuff uh i this sounds familiar i'm more familiar with his economic stuff <laughs> yeah but i didn't know that i do know yeah when you're language. a kid you, you he's a linguist better. is he yeah I should look into this. Um, he 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 has this whole thing where you know he calls it like the language ac- acquisition device, and he thinks our brains sort of have this hardwired like <clears throat> a, a thing for learning a language, where yeah. like you already have grammatical categories for like subject, object, and verb, and so that's how that we... changes as you age too, like those those pathways, right? Like, it, it, I mean, it might that that's why there's no like surefire way. Like yeah. nobody knows for sure exactly how language acquiring works, yeah. but I know like the way I learn a language is so different from how Yanka learned. In what sense? Um, she seems to do it more automatically and just like subconsciously, and I have to sort of like memorize things, yeah. know the rules, and then I can repeat it enough times so it becomes automatic. Yeah, he's doing it like very systematically, just like putting everything <clears throat> in categories. And what I did was just listening and trying to imitate, just like a newborn. Yanka so what, just what watched like Shameless. Like, I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Yeah, what did you what did you <laughs> listen to? Like music I, I, or movies? Music, or... a lot of music. Yeah. I watched a lot That's of TV good shows. For, like, yeah, cultural kind of like. Um, you know, just like things that you wouldn't learn just from a textbook, right? Yeah, like of course. Like cultural nuances That's why I was or whatever. Right. Familiar with a lot of things the that you can only learn from Shameless. Yeah. Stuff when I first moved here, I was not clueless. I was not like, oh, is yeah. that what Americans do? Like, I had an idea because yeah. I was watching a lot of your shows. I was watching. Because I feel like you're learning as you much know. about when you learn a language, the or I, ideally you're learning as much about the culture, like kind of the, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, of course, as, as you yeah. are just the the rules themselves which you obviously need to know and you need to learn but there's so many like variations and rules and like phrases right that don't translate yeah or there's like it's like there's a similar idea sometimes in another language to like what you're getting at with a phrase but it's it's a totally different translation it has nothing to do with like like it's raining cats and dogs yeah like what's the translation for that idioms are really tough yeah Yeah. one of the first things that i learned in an english class actually like we would just like laugh at it but did you get it were you like why the fuck is it raining cats and dogs but i don't have to get it obviously i just knew that i we had similar things in my language that you can what does it rain in in turkish I, you can just... If it's raining really heavily, like yeah. well, how do you well, say what that? What animals do fall from the sky? For example, in Camels. Scotland, when it's raining heavily, Camels they and say horses. It's, it's chucking it down, <laughs> as if there's a guy up there throwing rain down on just you. They it? say huh. it's, it's just yeah. chucking it down. It's really chucking it down out there. Yeah. You refer to God as it. The clouds, whatever. But yeah, what, what's Turkish version? Let's see. Well, well I don't so think we have I'm gonna. Speaking like of that. sayings, um, I'm gonna quiz Yanka. What what if do you remember the first Turkish phrase that I learned? 
<laughs> Let me think. <laughs> well, I have a question. Say it in Turkish. Birthday, Yanka. I, look, I got a question for you while she thinks of that. Yeah. Is you said you guys learn language differently, but that kind of just sounds like how you learn things when you decide you have to sit down and systematically decide how you're going to attack it. And is that how she just learns things? Because maybe it's more about how your brain learns to learn things. And then In when general, you try to learn you a language, yeah, a language which is so like, you know, like rooted deep in the brain to like images and encoding thoughts so that you're stuck with however you've learned how to learn things as the way to learn that. That's why it's so much easier for kids to pick up language because they haven't yeah, he's picked the way to learn yet. No, I know what he's saying. He's learn. saying like, like <laughs> I got confused. Yeah, Sorry. I'm confused. I mean, at some point, <laughs> I grew up speaking. Yanka, you're supposed so. to be thinking you about no Luke's first phrase. I was just trying to fill <laughs> did time. You, did you remember okay. the phrase? Yeah, he was just buying time, repeating the same thing. <laughs> trying to buy you some time here. I can say it in Turkish first, and then um, try to come up with. Oh, a funny... can I guess what it is? Yeah. Uh, my poop has now arrived, and now it must go. Is that it? No, that but was one of the first ones. I, I cannot exactly remember what, what was the I was the close. So the first one I learned, and this is before I knew any grammar or like even understood why the sentence meant this, but um, yeah. it was just a funny saying that I learned, awesome. and it goes a little something like this: Ne kadar salar son sola, done dushar son damla. And it, if oh, I were to translate it into an unawkward order in English, it, it's um, mm-hmm. no matter how many times you shake it, the last drop will always fall on your underpants. It's a very wise saying, I think. It's so many. It's true. Ways. I remember when you uh, first told me. Guys out true. there, come on. Yeah, I don't know if it's true. Dude, I mean, it has... you're like, all right, I'm good to go. I've shaken it enough. And then yeah. you go to zip up and you're like, God damn it, there's pee dripping down my leg. I would say two no, out of three no, times, Luke's... that's true. But no, I would say it's, like it's always true. Time, I get it. Capillary I action, motherfucker. There's I always disagree. a little bit of pee in the tube. Uh, you you got to go to the doctor and get your, your faucet <laughs> checked out. Yeah, though. you got to get uh, your tubes science. lubed, Johnny. Yeah, come on. Man. Oh, they're lubed, but it's it's just <laughs> it's a science thing. You could always... No, you but that's like the argument that you used to make like you always have to wipe because you never know for sure if it's clean. No, this is different. It's because there's always a little bit of you should penis always wipe. in your penis. Oh, I always do. Unless wipe. you dab your penis dry, you're not going to pull out the last little bit that's that's sitting there on the the surface. Like, the surface tension of the skin holds do, a little. Do you dab Luckily, your penis often? I don't often. have any of these problems, so... <laughs> Can you translate But it's a great saying, because that please. could go back to thousands of... How old is that phrase? Because well, it's been an issue, People have been wearing clothes for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. That's really brilliant I have question. no idea, but it's a I'm going to say a few thousand years. Probably not. Old, yeah. <laughs> so that's a that's a phrase. That's like a, a is that like a phrase in Turkish? You don't just say it but to it, people's faces. You uh, like oh yeah, tough basis. weekend. It's like oh yeah, like you yeah. know that phrase. And people yeah, you like, don't oh, yeah. just you don't it's just always dripping. You There's don't always just, another drop. You don't just go up to people in the street and say like hey, no matter how many times I shake my dick, like I still get some pee on me. You know, I like, still pee in my pants a little. I it's still pay but, my but doesn't it also take on the meaning of like, eh, what can you do? Like, even if you try everything, sometimes you can't plan for everything. Oh, so it's the it's it's the New York version of what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are yeah. you gonna do? You Might know, be. shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what like it is. And now I hate myself. What are you gonna do? Um, just, another just say it is. <laughs> another you don't Turkish say phrase. It is what it is. Wait, just what's, it is. What's the funniest phrase that that you can think of, like off the top of your head? I know you brought a few like planned phrases, but funniest phrase. Mm, it's hard. Let me see. Maybe that. Oh, oh, oh! I have one. Wait. It was something. Okay, it's something like I have. I, I need like a second to translate this. <laughs> oh, it is something like once the really umbrella much. is up in your ass, it's not gonna open. So oh, it's... say it in Turkish. <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, want to hear that. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, now you get it, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's what? it's. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Let me explain because it sounded really awkward. I like you, it. I like that. But I just left it like this. Give me a second. So... Yeah. Well, if you leave an umbrella up someone's ass, it gets a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's awkward the moment you insert an umbrella into someone's yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> not when you leave. When you yeah, insert. It's probably it. more. It's probably more awkward if they ask and then you just don't do it though. <laughs> Whatever led up to Depending it was on where you awkward. are, yeah. I don't know. It's just saying that things can only get so... Bad? Bad, yeah. Like, yeah. If the like once you have an umbrella up your ass, ass. yes. It's not <laughs> yeah. going to open at least, so you can just... And even if it does, your day's yeah, done. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Fuck the and even if you tried umbrella. to put an open umbrella up someone's ass, you'd look at it and be like, oh man, that's going to hurt, but it would end up closing on its way in, which makes it way less bad. <laughs> right. Uh, it depends which way you put the umbrella in. We never says anything about handle. It could go in first. like anal hook <laughs> style. <laughs> that is what it would be. I become. never thought I'd be saying anal hook on this episode. <laughs> or any episode. Now I've said ideally. it twice. Yeah. <laughs>
but that's what the umbrella effectively becomes at that point. Yeah, so I would assume tip first, then, yeah, it's not going to open in your, like, it's impossible. So it's saying things can only get so, like, worse. It's not going to be horrifying. Oh, so it it's, an, it's an actual, like, it's not a joke, it's an actual saying? It's an actual saying, but I never heard, like, people saying it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. What, what is he doing? I, th- I think he can't hear us, but we'll keep talking. We'll keep talking. Um, so... Our usual technical difficulties. Please like, share, and subscribe. Donate on Patreon. <laughs> Thunktank.com slash No, we already, we already did that. Oh, you're right. In the intro. All right. <laughs> are we recording? Are we live? We're live, yeah. We're live? Okay. So speaking of, like, interesting um, things about Turkish, I'm going to hit you up with the longest Turkish word in a second. But one of the reasons that Turkish words get so long is um, Turkish is what's called, like, an agglutinative language. And... I guess Turkish, Japanese, Korean, Finnish. There's a few of them in this category um, that are technically this type of language. Um, it comes from the Latin agglun- agglunitere. No, it's, it's pronounced agglunamatata. <laughs> agglunamatata, <laughs> which literally means to glue together. So basically what's unique about this is that you take words and you basically just keep adding things to the end of words to change meanings. And like in one word, you can accomplish what it takes a whole sentence to accomplish in English. Um, This style of like language is in contrast to a fusional language where you squeeze things together, but they change. And, you know, like, so English squeezes words together all the time, right? We add L Y to the end of a word to make it an adverb or an, you know, an S to make it a plural things like that but with turkish you can add things to the end of a word that creates like subordinate clauses you know so for example if i say like get tim in that one word it means you know that i went so it's like a a three-word phrase that gets accomplished in those um in that one word so because of this turkish has insanely long words yanka do you have it off the top of your head yeah all right, so the longest word in Turkish, maybe we'll put this in the episode notes so you can like visually see it, but just try saying it. Okay. Czechoslovakialaştıramadıklarımızdanmışçasına. This is the official longest word as far as I know. Wait, and what, is, what does that mean? What, yeah, what does it mean? So hard to translate that. Wait, it's... something about Czechoslovakia? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, can we hear it one hear, can we hear it one more time? Okay. Czechoslovakialaştıramadıklarımızdanmışçasına. I don't even want to say what I think that means now. Go ahead. Give me your It means best take guess. your Czechoslovakia umbrella and shove it up my nose. That's exactly what it means. Um, it's kind of hard to translate, though. Um, I have the translation. It's like, are you... Um... Is it offensive towards no, former no. Czechoslovakia? No, no, no. It's, it's just like a clever grammatical thing. Like, yeah, it's not... It's like, are you the ones that are... That, it's so hard to do it. Something like... like is there an English, English equivalent? Is not as good. Something like, like, are you the ones that are not able to... Get along become in the like become, the che- Czechoslovakians, you know? something like that. Hmm. Yeah. And so they can accomplish that in in just in one word by adding endings to things, right? Um, so, for example, arkadash means friend, arkadashim means my friend, arkadashlarim means my friends plural, arkadashlarim you know, like you keep adding things and you you get subordinate phrases where yeah. so when, yeah. for example if i, I am see. if i want to say um like tomorrow i'm going to school in order to study the way i have to like make that sentence in my head to like translate it into turkish so to speak would be tomorrow school to to study in order to um go i will totally lost me but yeah that sounds cool oh joe i'm going to school tomorrow in order to study oh why didn't you say so (laughs) so it's like really trippy how you have to like you know it's not only that like all languages have different orders of subjects objects and verbs you know and so obviously english is i read the book it's subject (laughs) verb object turkish is subject object verb yeah so you say i to the book read i wonder what like the cultural sort of um manifestations are that decide that like the the order like why do some languages decide one order like that and and other languages decide a totally different you've order? gotten to the point where uh we need a linguist on i think 
So that could be next. Episode. No, Yonka's, I mean, my, Yonka, what's your favorite English word as somebody who's newer to the language? I don't want to say that. It's I I think I word. I think Yonka, I know what it is. Spell it out for me, and I'll say. Yeah, it. we'll we'll like say mouth it. Mouth it out, and I'll say it. Ass. <laughs> Oh, Wait, opposite of that? Like other could, side I out? feel like she could say it, but, you know, it's up to you, Yanka. I, I don't know. I really like how... Do a uh, pig out. Latin it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great I one. Really, if you're going to say it, nice you might as well word. say it into it's the like mic. It's like cunts. It, like, just sits yeah. on your mouth. Yeah. Is well, that, if you're lucky? The cunt sits on your if mouth? If you're lucky. Ideally. <laughs> and Johnny, you're just like, yeah. <laughs> No, I, I know um, what you mean. It's it's a strong, powerful word. It's it, it's a harsh word for the meaning to it like is. it fits. It fits. I don't think it's yeah, a, exactly. I don't think it's a That's harsh exactly word. What I was saying. It's Not, aggressive. Like it just sounds really nice. It's so satisfying to say it. Cunt. Like, pl. Like it I don't is. Know. It does have a succinct quality to it. Yes. It's a word you, know? you spit yes. out. Yeah. There's a reason exactly. why it's popular. Mm-hmm. Other than the yeah. What's your least of favorite? And obviously. Sorry. What, what's your least the favorite English word? Generally, I guess. Oh, or, yeah, what's the hardest? I, I what's your, what do you find the hardest type of word or word to say? Um, I okay, I have something in like right now that I know I remember. I tried to say deteriorate the other day. That, right? that was Did I say it right? Yeah, deteriorate. deteriorate. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a rough one. Because he corrected me the other day, yesterday, I guess. So, so Yanka, what would you say is the most common correction I have to make for English? Not that I'm – don't think of me as oh. some, like, policeman who's just like – Yeah, I ask him to correct. Assimilate, yeah, yeah, you yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, can, I, can, I, can, yeah. I, can I guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, sure. Is it prepositions? It used to be. I'm yeah. so much better at that Because I noticed that, right that with my, my students, prepositions yes, are Yes, prepositions, but I – yeah. Pretty much learn them. I guess I'm all fine with the yeah. the preposition. It takes time, but yeah, yeah, sure. it takes time. But right, so it used to be, I guess, the difference between V and Ws, because oh, in yeah. my language we don't have W, Q, and um, X. What else? Well, X. W is such yeah, a pop out. They got outlawed, letter. right? It's just like two U's. Exactly. We don't really? have those, and we have no. It's two V's. No, no, those letters like got it. outlawed because of the Kurds, <laughs> right? I was googling. Turkey. Is it really? Yeah, it, oh, it, I didn't. Know apparently, that. it's really common in the, the whatever language the Kurdish people use, and so they they just outlawed those letters, so they can't communicate. It's easier to huh. interesting. It's, it, I it's had easier no to just speak this. Turkish. I know that Kurdish. Yeah, I know that Kurdish language has oh, Q, but not sure about the. the I guess they have W too. I, I think it. That's X. so crazy. That's, that's like true in French. It's it's double V. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you write it, you don't write it as a curved bottom. You write a W as two Vs. I do, but because right? I'm an asshole and I just decided I'm yeah. going to now. But W, so, W, Tur- V, they're both pretty close. Turkish yeah. does use the Latin alphabet. Um, they used to have, like, an Ottoman alphabet for Turkish, but then in... Ottoman is basically the Arabic letters. I know, it, it, yeah. Yeah, you guys so, definitely like, had I... the letter X at some point. That was a big letter back in the day. Well, they also have a bunch of letters it's we don't have, letter. you know? Like what? Um, they have a an S with a little thing under it, which is a sh sound. Yeah. Um, okay. They have an O with two dots, which is instead of O from the back of your throat, it's E uh from uh. the front of your throat. Oh, I don't uh. like that. Uh. So uh. those are the ones I uh. have the hardest time with, and I'm uh. sure I have an accent uh. in Turkish. Uh. Wait, Yanka, can you just say like I a random? Knew you were about it. Eh. Can you say like a random? like two or three sentences just i think a lot of people have never heard turkish you know probably like when, i remember when i first met you met i had somebody. no idea like i was a little bit embarrassed to say i think i know where turkey is but i'm gonna look at a map <laughs> and then i also remember thinking like i have no idea what turkish sounds like i i didn't know if it was very throaty sure, yeah. and like oh, well, let me ask you this. harsher how, how like arabic other, or turkish people did you know before you met yanka um i probably yeah. like talked to a few at gas stations or you know like <laughs> yeah. but, yeah, for some reason Turkish around here, all the gas stations yeah. have Turkish workers. All the Uber drivers seem to be Turkish around here. All the Uber drivers. Well, she had an Uber driver last night, and then the guy was just like um, this 20-year-old who, like, he was like within five minutes, you know, they were speaking Turkish to each other, obviously. <laughs> he's saying how he got kicked out of high school and, like, got in a fight with this person. And, like, he's like, yeah, and then I met this girl because she was smoking weed, and then she offered me some weed, and then I got her pregnant. And Yanka's like, all oh, right, those. well, I think yeah. we've arrived. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think you stopped driving, like, five minutes ago, yeah. so I'm going to get out of the car. Exactly. That's a pretty solid immigration story, though. That's a pretty... it was an interesting immigration story. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that's right a there. classic that's one. That's one way to get a green card. That's exactly card. what he said, by the way. Did he? Like, yeah, I'm living the American dream. Yeah, I'm making a lot of money on Uber. I'm like, good for you, dude. Uh, yeah. Good for him. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. How do you say good for you in Turkish? We don't have that. 
Like maybe yeah. we don't. Oh, I mean, like well, literally. Not literally, yeah. Well, literally. So what's the Turkish you can say version? Something like, uh, like oh, Nigazaz. Nigazaz. Can I? How nice. How yeah. nice. Can I? Uh, can I ask? Request a sentence that has words that I don't know if you can translate or not. Can you say "Welcome sure. to the Thunk Tank Podcast" in Turkish? Thunk Tank Podcast. Ne hoş geldiniz. Ooh, that could be our yeah, new I opening. Yeah, I think we, I think we no should have the intro for this in Turkish, probably. Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Sure, yeah. Say it, say if it you, nice if, and close if to the If you could say, welcome to the Thunk Tank podcast, please like, share, and subscribe in Turkish. And shove an umbrella up your okay. anus. <laughs> sure, I'll add that part to you. Yeah. Thunk Pack Tank podcast, ne hoş geldiniz. Lütfen likelamayı. Oh, wait a second. Lütfen beğenmeyi, paylaşmayı ve... What else? Like, share, subscribe. And subscribe. Okay. Beğenmeyi, paylaşmayı ve takip etmeyi, abone olmayı unutmayınız. Yeah. Tamam. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so my cool. favorite aspect of um, <laughs> thank you. My favorite aspect of 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 Turkish is the the sound of it comes across as so smooth. One unique thing about the language is it has something called vowel harmony. Have you heard of this before, Joe, in languages? Vowel harmony? Vowel harmony. No. So um, any ending that you would put on a word to create a sentence, for example, um, let's say araba is car. Now, if I want to say my car, I add something to the end of that word to make it possessive. Car, mine. Yeah. You know? And so the things you add to <laughs> oh, the yeah. ends car, of words. mine change right yeah so um if so, like car hers basically or car what theirs. i mean is depending on the we word gender. it's gender neutral that's oh, the is. another unique thing about turkish is it's gender neutral so constantly yanka's like yeah, yeah uh Europe. my dad was uh leaving work today and he was driving over the bridge and she totally lost control of her car yeah. and i'm like uh what that was a heck of an operation on the <laughs> i do that all the time yeah. I, I still do it i don't think it'll ever ever i'll ever be able to fix that but because they they have one word for he she and that's it. fine it's that just all. makes you really woke yanka <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, yanka, you're, woke. Yeah, you're just curve. that's where we'll be in another oh, okay. 50 years so you're, you're fine. yeah 50 years from now they'll be like that girl got it those fucking yeah, that's exactly what i'm thinking people. about here though right now i don't want to get in there but like why don't you make the language gender neutral gender neutral instead of coming up with a lot of um, what are Instead they? Of what inventing. was it you said there? <laughs> no, you just keep coming up Yankee? with more of them. Like, yeah, instead understand. of coming up with more, we could just come up with less. I, I'm i down with that, like for sure, neutral. yeah. Anyway. Because the problem is right now, the, the one that's less is just saying it, and that's, like, there's no nuance or romanticism. Yeah, but, that, to... yeah, but, but that's in it Turkish. One it is the same as he or she. No, but Turkish. I just mean on, like, a purely aesthetic level. Like, it's it does it's not compelling to just start saying, like, oh, where's Luke? Oh, it went to the store. Well, it would have to be a new word, right? Yeah. It, 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 it's yeah. just it's human, like, isn't it? The, 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 yeah. Or person? It's already a word. Did you hear Justin Trudeau's comment recently? He said, like, somebody said, like, whatever, blah, 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 for the future of mankind. And he corrected her and said, people kind. Yeah, no, he's, he's like, listen, kind. Justin Trudeau, um, we get the virtue signal, but like, come on. Anyways, <sighs> we don't want to make that this episode. No, go um, ahead, Luke. Go ahead, I dare you. Don't trigger me, Joe. <laughs> so, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, well, before we move on, I didn't hear what kind of beer they drink in Turkey. I want to know oh, what, what okay. the beer culture is like. If it... Okay, so we have um, one dominating, I guess, brand that everybody drinks. It's... Dos Equis, right? Well, there's, I would say there's two, right? Bon Monte? There's two, yeah, Bon Monte, but that's a different one. So, actually, the first one was even before the Turkish Republic, like today's Turkey, was found. It was in Ottoman time. It was called, there, there were these brothers, they're called Bon Monte brothers, and they were Swedish, I Swiss, or Swiss, I guess, Swiss, anyway. So, they, like, opened this beer factory, and they owned the first beer factory in Turkey, I guess, and that was huge. And then what happened was, once the Turkish Republic was found, right? The in the Turkish 20s, right? Founded. Yeah, in 1923, okay. yeah. Um, so what they did was, they took these, like, foreign companies from the hands of the foreigns, and they gave it to Turkish people, I guess, something Nationalization, like that. Nationalization, yeah. Nationalization, exactly. That's what happened. Then, anyway, like, it's a long story, it's whatever so Beaumont is one of those but now that, it's, a now it's beer. known as turkish yeah, beer yeah exactly now okay. it's known as turkish beer it's uh, swiss uh, i guess what, but now it's turkish what is it like what would you compare it to in america is it like a bud light beer like a very light beer easy to drink uh, or is it dark or 
I could probably answer that question better than Yanka. I know, but I asked um, her. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, like, um, she hasn't had this beer that I, I think it, it's probably closest to Yinling. Oh, okay. Something yeah, like that. Know. They don't oh, okay. really have a craft beer scene. They don't have, like, anything but, like, a Yinling type yeah. style. So what, is, what would you call that? if you fancy, you would know. drink German beer. We have a lot of German beer. That's, that's, that's the, the import. import yeah. It okay. is, yes. Yeah. That's the import. German it's beers. It's really good. Uh, maybe, like, Belgium beer. Um, mm-hmm. Even mm-hmm. Swiss, I guess. All right. So that's you get the huge. major the major imports. Not much English and beer, then I guess. But... Yeah, also FS. Yeah, I should mention if someone oh, okay. Turkish is listening like, to this, I have to mention that, too, yeah. just in case. What, what percents do these run at about? Oh, very low, I guess. Yeah. I would say, like, three. Yeah, they're, like... Four, yeah. three to five percent. And, and, um, I tell you this much though: if you I have five of them on there. a plane on your way to Turkey, you'll You're fall good asleep. To go. <laughs> good to know. I might do that. If you have five of them here. and watch Jurassic Park, that sounds four, awesome. You'll definitely oh, fall asleep. Four? Oh. <laughs> you'll definitely fall. Well, what just started happening is like people are doing beer at their houses. That, that's like a like new drinking thing. at home. Yes, exactly. Like putting it at their uncle, butts yeah, with the umbrella. Yeah, like new age hipsters of Turkey. <laughs> so home brewing yeah. is a thing doing. in in Turkey. It oh is shit! A let's thing. get yes. a, a Turkish home brewer on the podcast too. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, let's let's sure, the Turkish uncle. home brewer. We can get him on the podcast. Yes. Yes. I want I want to trade yeah. recipes he, he with him. I absolutely. Really? If he will yeah. give me a, a, one of his recipes, I want to try to make Turkish homebrew. Sounds fucking awesome. I'm gonna tweet at, at Turkish at, at at Turkish homebrewers and see if we can get some like. Yeah. I, ju- so I just made a Belgian beer the other day. I make English beers all the time. Like I would love to make a, a Turkish, Turkish beer. beer. Yeah. Sure. I mean, it's not anything. I guess like th- distinct. Yeah. There's not. It's not amazing. But it's, it's not yet. Not, it, yeah, it's not yeah, like pushing so the limits to be to craft, do anything crazy. Even but, craft yeah. beer like here, fifteen twenty years ago, it was nothing. Right? Nothing it just, compared it to now. Like yeah. it, it blew up over the past. That's true. Fifteen and years. And if you, you go back know, far everyone, enough to like yeah. the seventies yeah. and eighties, it just didn't exist. Yeah, it just wasn't it's like, around. Yeah, you could maybe find like a weird guy who made his own beer, but that was for him and his like buds. You know what I mean? Like. So that so it. that's cool. So home brewing is a cool hipster thing. The hipsters in uh, it's yeah. Istanbul are doing, I guess, and and yeah, constantly everywhere. They, everywhere. They have cool. all their hipster Cities, movements basically. there too. They have like the vegan like hipster vibe. They have like we have basically the, everything ev- that you all guys the things have in we here. Have, they we have, have our yeah. own Brooklyn. Like the, we have our own Williamsburg. Do, do the people have man, the same type of people? Do the people have man buns and and oh, wear sandals? Of course, awesome. you have everything. Awesome. Yeah, you, they have men buns. They have like I saw I saw like a pop music video and they were like I sent you they, that they had they no right. I, I, oh, I oh, found the, one oh, too the one yeah. you found how, and they they had the how hair fucked going. up is you that gonna be that the first see. like yeah. true global citizen our society produces like the type of person that that transcends all nationalities and borders is the fucking hipster that'd be so disappointing is that it is that <laughs> So it's there's possible. a there's a lot of good about like the hipster vibe, but like honestly, it, it mostly well, pisses it de- me off. It depends on what you <laughs> how you define hipster because hipster pisses is such me a off up in here, right? Like I used like, to think Portland, Oregon is probably the coolest city, and now I just think like, oh, you know what? Go fuck. It's yourself. one of the most like, expensive <laughs> in the country. But you know what I feel like? So so hipster is a definition that's changed. Like oh, yeah. it changes over the years. That's and over hard the to keep track of, like changing it definitions is. of anything. It really you know? is, especially categories of like a type, like a hipster. Like a hipster in the '90s is different from a hipster today. Yeah. Which is different from a hippie. Yeah, you might offend someone by so. saying hipster. Now it can like be just pe- like easily. Like hipster, people, the, like... do you know what's weird about that? Is <gasps> what did you call me? Certain yeah. groups was that a hard people, H? <laughs> the heavy H. Heavy Cer- H. Certain groups of people call me hipster. Like like people in a certain strata, like middle aged baby boomers. Because you're a professor, you're but you also I get called like, a hipster too. So I, I, know. Your pants are not I also tight like enough, excuse me. Yeah, my, my pants aren't. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like like other people would be like, oh, your pants aren't tight enough to be a hipster. And it's like. Yeah, but I also drink a bunch of beer on my podcast and have a bow in my room, like right. and arrows, like in the corner. That sounds like, pretty hipster. So. And I have patches on and, my sleeves. And patches on my sleeves, and like maybe no pairs of matching socks. Like these are just realities. It's no, not you like have a stylistic... pairs of matching socks. You just never pair them together. But that's what I mean. It's not a stylistic decision. It's just my life. But so like a real hipster, I would say it looks orchestrated. You look at them and no, they look should, like they have created. But it shouldn't be like and... the, like a real hipster should be somebody who's not orchestrated. So then we have to reclaim the definition which apparently is what i'm doing because i've had people i work with be like oh yeah you're you're a real hipster well, what, what do you like, call the guy no, with not. half his, his beard shaved off and a ferret on a leash sitting on his shoulder what is he then if you're also somebody who hipster, needs to be institutionalized <laughs> or like let's have him on the podcast or he's probably just an asshole i mean he could just be an asshole yeah i i have noticed that a lot of people like <laughs> try to act weird that's just to I mean. be different and yeah. novel you know yeah that's it's like if you're too, doing that if you're acting weird just for the sake of being novel 
also go fuck yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm weird <laughs> like, because be I'm... be a real person, be genuine. Yeah, I'm weird know? because I'm lazy. So that's definitely true. Istanbul, like, uh, walking around there, you'll just think you're in any random New York city. So what's you know? your favorite thing about Turkey yeah. that you that you miss that like we don't have is it like a food thing food. or is it a, is oh it, yeah let's talk is about it like a holiday cuisine, thing yeah. like what is the one thing that we're fucking up by not having over here i think we have enough holidays here i'm kind of happy that people are so ready to party for everything <laughs> labor day holiday oh, yes. yeah. thanksgiving I, eat, I do remember christmas eat. i do remember oh, one time you're getting drink we were eating s'mores we showed Yanka what s'mores were for the first time, oh, yeah. and she was like, "What? What is this?" Like, she, we're like, we told her like, "Oh, it's marshmallows, chocolate." She's like, "Yeah, but why? Like, what are we doing?" And it's like, "Oh, this is traditional <laughs> campfire food in America." She's like, "Of course, you guys have a food for fire. You have a food for everything." <laughs> I thought that was really funny. And it's usually yeah. a pretty sugary like. Oh, it was there's incredible. always a way to add I food to everything we food. do. Is is food a big part of the holidays over there? Like it is. It's it's a big yeah. part of life, generally. I feel like that's a that's a European thing. I would say too. food is a bigger part of life, like in general. Yeah. yeah. Not not just for special occasions, but yeah. like like every night, like dinner is more of an occasion than most households here. I would say. Yeah. You know. Which is a shame. And yeah. the manners that you would use here. at the dinner table. Yeah. Um, exactly. So one of my favorite Turkish sayings is it's really short and easy to learn. I'll have you say it now, Joe. Ready? That's it. Afiyet Olsun. Afiyet Olsun. Afiyet. Afiyet. Olsun. Olsun. Afida Zing. Yeah. Afiyet Olsun. It's the loose translation is Bon Appetit, right? Oh, okay. What does that mean? Which is funny that the translation from Turkish, Afiyet Olsun, to English is to say it in French, Bon Appetit. Enjoy your food that I prepared for you. It doesn't sound as good. Yeah, and it it literally it translates as let there be healthiness, right? Yeah, let there let be, like, be well being. Like, I like that. But Anything it's a way to say like, you're welcome. I'm glad I could cook for you. That kind right. of thing. Okay. So people say that all the time. Like you get the the um the wait waiter or waitress brings you a beer and you say like oh, thanks so thanks so, so much it's and they cheers. say it's, okay. it's like a way to say you're welcome as well. You okay. know? That's how cheers is used in England. We just lost the meaning because we don't use that. We don't do that here. Although I have yeah. heard bartenders here occasionally, you're like. Thanks, man. They're like, cheers. Yeah, but you it's know? cheers to like enjoy English your drink. Thing. But people like they're just say like cheers, like oh you dropped like you dropped your glove. Like when you're walking down the street, they'll say cheers. It's like a thank you or you're. That is funny, also. Johnny, that you mentioned that because I remember when we were in Scotland a few years ago, like universally that's just what people say about anything, anything is just, in any social you know, situation. Anybody, they're, it's just like hey, how you doing? And then you leave, and it's it could be a stranger, somebody you meet for the first time, a good friend. It's always oh cheers, cheers, man. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it's like oh, it's get in the mail. All right, cheers, mate. Often, like, even in non-drinking situations, I've I've never heard that here in America. I definitely do use it when I'm talking From to someone me. with an English or a Scottish. Let's do it. Accent, I'm down. and I purposely because one like time it? I did it, oh, the sure, guy gave me a look like yeah. nice That's way okay. to go. Like, but so um, I do do it now, but it doesn't. They don't. Do you ever say notice. it as a bartender though, Johnny? Yeah, especially if they say. Yeah, Johnny, you're English. on the forefront. Or Scottish, yeah, you could start proliferating it. Just start doing it to everybody. Why not? This is how these things catch on. Yeah. So, so um, I, did you guys watch the video I texted you, got, you you earlier about like the Turkish um, village where they use whistling to talk to each other? No. Yeah, it's so cool. It's fucking trippy. Really? It's really cool. Earlier yeah. Today, it. Um, can we can we pop that up on they're, the they're, audio? Their whistling the championship. Episode? Well, it's someone else's YouTube um, video. We don't want to get ours pulled down, so. I'll just we'll post just it tag in the episode it. Yeah. link. Link it. Um, but it's basically this village. It's called Kushkui, which is Kushkui. it translates to like bird village. Because yep. these fucking people really just wait, Johnny. Before I say it, I want to ask you. Watching this video, it's a video of people in this village that they basically have this complex system of whistling, and they can say complex sentences through the whistling. What What did you walk away from that thinking? Like I thought like something like. Yeah, but like I had a reason why the whole thing was fucking stupid. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> even yeah, the clip right, ends. If, if you wa watch the video, it's amazing. But it ends with well, like, uh, two guys <laughs> using their whistling language to communicate like pretty far. So that's impressive. And they, they seem to be having a complex conversation. And then the narrator is just like, and then a third voice chimes in, or is it just a bird? It's hard to tell sometimes. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
So you're gonna be talking to somebody and make plans for Friday night, but it's really just a fucking bird. Like that, I could see how that falls apart. <laughs> that kind of stuff. So you're like you're important. at the bar and you're like, where the fuck is Frank? Like he said he was gonna meet me at the bar at seven o'clock. Like, oh, and meanwhile, was a fucking sure. bird. He was like, goddamn Robin again. No, it'd be like Frank's dead. He'd be like, what? I just talked to him like two days ago. He'd be like, he's been dead for weeks. <laughs> Who have I been talking to? And it's like, I don't know, some yeah, yeah. Just some crow. <laughs> just some birds. No, but that was so, amazing that they how, how they that's were a able to communicate. Thing? Yeah, so like they, they stick their fingers in, in their mouth in a certain way and they can whistle not only like very loudly that can go long distances, but like with certain like wee but it's, it's just this one just village. One specific village. One specific and, and have village, they been yeah. doing it for Although a there long are time. seventy different whistling languages around the world. This is just one, one of, of the yeah. villages that like still but how maintains it. How do you define a whistling language? How uh, much do you have to communicating whistle? Communicating in a complex enough way to have like yeah, but enough what's, variation what's, in what's sentences. The cut, no, no, but I mean like how much do you have to whistle? Like, can you throw in words? Do it's pure whistling, only whistling. Only, only whistling. Can you do a PhD whistling. in it? Probably. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about. No, no, that, I'm saying that's probably the standard. Oh, maybe. So Johnny, the thing that I noticed wasn't actually that, but oh. that's hilarious though. Um, it was the guy was like fucking farming out on the field, pulling up weeds. His hands are covered in dirt, oh. and his 80 year old mother is whistling at him from the house, like, you know, what are you doing? Where are you? And he has to stick his fucking oh, no, dirty that's probably fingers good in his mouth him. so he could whistle. No, that probably inoculates him from local illnesses and stuff. What, sticking dirt in your yeah. mouth? Or he dies of shit and mouth disease. Yeah, but then that's the next farmer who moves into that house who does the same thing eventually will be immune to it. Science. Is that is that science? No, I, I uh, do know what you mean, but. I, that that wasn't the part that bothered me the most. It was it was Why definitely the but no because you looked at how far like they're in this big mountainy canyon side thing. It's like it's pretty far to travel up and down every time just to talk to somebody. Like like yeah. it's like living in flatland. Like you're you're you you don't move forward and back. You move up and down. And you live at this hilly place. Especially so. if all you have to say is some like, bullshit. Yeah, hey, like, how you doing, you know, mate? Do you want all lunch? Right, cheers. You know? yeah. yeah, but you yeah. can yeah. still yeah. yell that. I don't understand why you have to <laughs> whistle. No, it's like far enough where yelling is not. I don't know. Can you just Look, get a cell I'm not, phone? I'm not here to defend the whistling language. I think so. I personally you, are. You, you are. Yeah. You clearly you take a mass stance. Luke. Yeah, but I, you brought whistling. So, into so my what you're house. saying you is now you're flip flopping your stance. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're saying that you don't stand by your whistling. I'm saying every. I'm not going to say what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, we almost got him. We almost. Johnny. That was we so, so easy. Close. It took so little. <laughs> Uh, All right, that's interesting. Cool. So, anyways, that's just like something interesting about like Turkey's known for that village that still has this whistling language. It it is a lot of Turkish people have no idea that there. Yeah, it's one of those. You know, Turkey's also. Can we address the camel thing? It's been almost like fifty minutes. Let's talk about the camel. (laughs) Turkey's also known for not having as many camels as Somalia, Kenya, China, Russia, and Israel. All have more camels than. Turkey. Do you know why? Or do they? <laughs> Yanka, do you know about Joe's fact? And now you're fiction? now you're oh, in shit. deep, Yanka. You're oh, in deep God. now. Okay. Are would you, you like Would you like to explain, Johnny? Either? Yeah. Yeah. So give it so a go. Joe, while, throughout our conversation, will come up with a cool, interesting fact, or does he? Or will he? So he always comes up with what may either be a fact or it's something he made up, and we have to guess. <laughs> oh, okay. So this okay. is the one for this he episode. He throws it out there. At some point, and we just sort of like try to figure out like, is it a fact or not? Was a fact? that the question? Yeah. yeah. Camels. Okay. Or was it? Or was it? Well, so speaking of camels, well, no, let's just was, address. But... I think if you were to ask most people, most people who have no, I don't know, connection to anything camels. Turkey, why? Yeah. You know. Um, and like, w- what image pops into your head when you think of the country Turkey? Often it's a camel, right? It's like deserty oh, and camel. Well, what it is specifically is the fucking cigarette logo. Yeah, Joe, you have a history like of where that came from, yes. at least for us, right? Well, I I explained this to you, yeah, right? Yeah. How I figured out the, the my yeah, origin the... of of kind of associating camels with Turkey, and it was basically that. And it, what's funny, it was it wasn't until I read this book, and I I did find the title. It's called uh, Still Life with Woodpecker by Tom Robbins. It's a really good book. Really weird book, but really good book. And the the cover is actually that um, box of Camel cigarettes, because the box of Camel cigarettes is actually like an important part of the book. Like They show it a lot in the book. And it says right on the cover of the book, the uh, subtitle to the, uh, or or the uh, headline to the, um, the cigarette package, which says a blend of American and Turkish tobacco. And I realized once I read that, 
that I, I was telling Luke this, that growing up, my, my grandma used to smoke cigarettes uh -huh. and, and including, I'm sure, camels. So like, I definitely <laughs> saw these cigarettes growing up and just subliminally, it kind of seeped into my mind because I don't, uh, like I've never smoked cigarettes. Yeah. So like, you know, after a while I, I stopped seeing that package, but it was already embedded in me. So as soon as I met you <laughs> and you were like, Turkey, I was like, Camels! Oh yeah, it's sort of and like... I, but I didn't know why, because the advertising had just sunken into my brain. I though. guess a lot of people had that, but I didn't know it was coming from that cigarette thing. It was I camel cigarettes. I used to smoke I, camel I cigarettes, yeah. I, yeah. They also sell yeah, one I, called a Turkish Royal. That's weird, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Also, we have camel yeah. cigarettes, and they have camels on it, too. Like, the same package. Oh, they do? The, yeah, in we Turkey? have camels, yeah. too. I but exactly in terms of actual yeah. camels in Turkey... there's a pyramid, too, on, on the package, too, I think. Exactly. Which is <laughs> Egypt. Turkish tobacco yeah. is, like, in well, so many different Because camel cigarettes, as far as I know, not it was just made camel. up by... A, it's just like, eh, that area. Well, Turkish tobacco is a thing. Yeah, it was created by a southern tobacco salesman, or whoever. A U.S. Southern tobacco guy, so he did from, from a place that Johnny may or may not be familiar with in North yeah, Carolina. Yeah, and, and so it's just, <laughs> and so it's just a, uh, it, a building it's just an idea of what the eastern you know, area was like. Probably, ah, they got camels and pyramids, right? That's Turkish, Turkish. But well, well, they they kind of like. Uh, I, I don't know if romanticize is the right word, but they exoticized it, right? Also, well, with like pyramids and camels I mean, and. Yeah, yeah. It's That's sort like of a, a touristy yeah. attraction. I think, exactly. I think a lot of those things from those places historically you would have to order through Turkey. Like you think about in the eighteen hundreds, if you're a rich guy ordering some shit from the, the you know, the, the far east from Saudi Arabia, you probably ordered it through Constantinople uh sorry, Istanbul. Right, like that. It, it's the big hub. It's you the mean, New York it's of such Asia a big Minor. Hub of, yeah. Like, trading like who else? And, and who else is trading shit yeah. to white guys from the Far East? Right. Where else you also, as far as I know, same thing with the name of Turkey. Like, why the country is named Turkey? I guess we were um, sending some sort of turkey no. bird, like turkey that bird. Can't yeah, be right. that's what I read. Really? No, I seriously read that. Well, how is it? Yeah, what seriously. is it called in Turkish? Like, what is Turkey called? It's Turkey. You call it and Turkey it? also. No, no, wait, no, it's Turkey, which is not the word for Turkey in Turkey. But it sounds yeah. like, Turkey. but it no, sounds it like the English what's word. What's the word for the bird Turkey in Turkish? Hindi. Which is not also, even close. Wait, wait, no, wait. can I just say something what funny? Do you call their that's their a, word for Turkey is Hindi, yeah, what's a Hindi, which is their word for India. Yeah, I was gonna say, what Hindi. do you call somebody oh. that's a Hindu? What religion is that? What do you call a Hindu Hindi? Who no, no, not eats Hindu. Turkish Turkey in Turkey. Jesus Christ. So confusing. So. We call Turkey the word Turkey, right? Even though bah. their word for it just happens bah. to sound like it. It doesn't mean it at all, right? Oh, ah. Their word for <laughs> the actual animal, the turkey, in Turkish is hint. Hindi. Hindi. So, and Hindistan is Indian. Hindistan so they, is like they literally did the same Turkey thing we did to them yeah. to someone they else. They just moved it. Yeah, a we, little more east. They were like, reason, hey, yeah, hey, we English call called us the animal Turkey as our country, so we're going to fucking do the I same thing to India. I don't think that's where it comes from, but that's coincidentally, what I think happened. It, yeah, coincidentally, we say I've definitely, Turkey land. I've definitely seen... Turkey yeah. land is India. I've definitely seen Hindustan or, uh, written on old maps for where uh, India is. Oh, that's interesting. What the yeah, fuck so old maps were you looking at that say Hindustan? I believe that I, 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 I look at old I can send you some cool links. Um, yeah. I actually subscribed Johnny, to a, a one cool one on a yeah, uh, Johnny just like page. stares at California Island and shit. He's oh, there's that. some cool maps out there. Yeah, I used to go to the library and do that when I was a kid. Well, I have more questions about Turkey. Can I just I just I so I always just want to bug Yanka with these, but it always just seems inappropriate because I should just treat her like no, a person. No, 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 no. But nothing's enough. All right. Well, have you ever been to the? <laughs> I've always wanted to go to the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. I was wondering if you've ever yeah. been and if it's really that great or if it's just because it's so old. How grand is it? It's the oldest. Couple it's the oldest target. like uh, like store like it's a mall, uh, but it's the okay, oldest one us, in the world. I'm gonna give you give you my like genuine opinion. To us, like it's a place that we would go maybe once a year, not like oh we should go to Grand Bazaar. Like if it's just. You would take someone that's like a tourist there. That's exactly what I did to Luke. Oh, like it's like going to there. Rockefeller Center. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you should see. But like it. Yeah. Of it's, it's like going to Chelsea cool, Market. But, but yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But it's 500 it cool. years old. It yeah. is old. Yeah, it's fancy. Like it, for a tourist, I guess what happens is uh, it's kind of interesting. But what I observed was tourists are appreciating those kinds of things more than we do. I think we should I think appreciate it. That's true it of too. every city, right? Yeah, maybe. It's, but anyway, like they, they just like freaking well, whoever I took. Like I had a lot of like friends that are coming from like different countries when i was 
going to college and I would just be like, okay, here's this, here's that. And they would, they seem to like freak out over all those things. And Grand Bazaar is one of those places. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's nice. But to me, I'm just like, okay, yeah, like whatever. Is there really wor- anything worth buying there? Like, what do they sell? Is it a ripoff? Again, it's, it depends. She got on... me two Christmas presents the past two years from there. Pretty nice sweaters. What, 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 oh, no, nice sweaters? I didn't get them from there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> No, See, she dude, duped you. Of course not. <laughs> anyway. I thought it said couple of charsha on the bag or something. No, it didn't. Oh, the thing you got from my grandma was, yes, that's was that. from there. Anyway, so it's nice. Like, they have, like, authentic. <laughs> they sell carpets, which is, like, kind of cool. Again, like, touristic stuff, I think. Oh, like, the carpets, carpets they're famous very for. Very fancy, like, material, like, stuff, like, shawls that are made from, like, fancy Yeah, there's materials. paintings that are, like, 500 years old of people selling carpets in those same stalls. That's pretty cool. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Like there's stores like that. also there's gold. Like a lot of gold. Gold is huge. Like. What do you mean gold? Like. Like gold. You, like bracelets. Oh, okay. Gold, oh, not necklaces. units of gold. It's a thing. Not like coins. Yeah, not like, just like, like I slap down okay. a bar and I'm like, yeah, I'll take that horse. Bam. And I don't want to go camels. into like any. <laughs> right. different I'll take topic, three camels. <laughs> three camels and that donkey. What we do is like we gift gold in our weddings. So oh, when word? we go to Grand Bazaar, is if someone's getting married, we would buy gold from there. Cool. Because you can get it nice and gold cheap. Gold bracelet and stuff. Anyway, so it's cool for tourists, not for people that live there, I guess. Like I don't remember going there more than three times my life maybe and like four if you're thinking know. of a place to go as a tourist if you're listening to this thinking like i want to travel it's really cheap to travel to turkey right now because no one wants to go exactly <laughs> yeah go to my country there's like, a lot really of great stuff you can there see too a lot of great history just just mm-hmm. plan ahead and like uh it's relatively safe in these days the it's last it's yeah, a lot did, safer than it was when i was there right after you left the day i yeah, they fl- did that yeah a couple of days after i left times, there like, like was a big like, isis attack on the airport where like yeah I was just like, well, whatever. We'll Everybody out. I knew was like, oh my god, you were yeah. just there, and I was like, yeah, but I also crossed a road today, like, but a bus came like a second after. But yeah, but I, Luke, it wasn't a bus driven by ISIS. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, Fair I, enough. I found out I may or may not be slightly Turkish recently, me and Joe. So I think oh, yeah. we're, I think oh, yeah. we're, we're, we're up. Joe what did are you, we up to? We're up to 30 percent Turkish. Did, you we the, decided. Uh, did your dad do the you like um, 23 and Me thing? Uh, was it 23 no, and Me? No, it was the ancestry. No, no, it was ancestry. Does one. Oh, I see. But it, do they just do one? Side it's all of your linked by the Illuminati. Family so or whatever. Like, did he give a DNA sample? Yeah. Yeah, you do like yeah, a cheek swab said, or something. I think you take a shit so we're like, in a tub of air, mail it to him. I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be steamy you think though. People once ever you find it, out that they're not like. Re- their parents are like they adopted them like through that kind of thing oh definitely yeah because like it will you be think like, you're you know, totally something different yeah like if your parents were from like peru or something but then it's yeah. like no you're actually from like yeah. mexico it's like yeah. wait what your dna has never been to peru it yeah. turns out. yeah i don't know if there's a way to tell that genetically. i don't know either but well i don't like arts was pretty like i mean it was specific in the sense where it's it, it pointed out that like 30 percent of his dna is from definitely not there like it's from like the Middle East somewhere, yeah. you know. It's either like, like totally yeah, different. They, they could, so we know we're not Chinese. <laughs> yeah, we're At definitely least through not Chinese. our dad. <laughs> well, kind of we don't know about yeah, her. We're definitely not Chinese. Mom, but she she might have some Chinese. We don't know. Joe has more of a Middle Eastern vibe than you, John. I don't know. Look at this beard. Well, you what, so you're saying what exactly? Look at his beard. Yes, you're saying. Oh, that's true. Yeah, come Your on, beard is is. People make like, jokes actually... about me all the time. Someone said to me the other day, like, when when did you get back from ISIS training? I was like, wow, that's that's harsh. <laughs> people say that. Johnny, you, you can get offended. I, well, I you may can get really offended now. In the South, so, uh, you know, hey, when you Johnny, have a beard I like you, this, and you're if you started a learning Arabic, you would at least make some people around you worried. Oh, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know. But, Namely the FBI. Um, no, I can't. I can't shave it either. If I sh- if I shave it too close, it gets all like fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's a thing. So the moral of the story so, is the moral of the story is I think everyone associates camels with Turkey, even though even the though, only yeah. place in Turkey that camels exist are at tourist places, so that they can feel like they rode a camel in exactly, Turkey. Exactly, because well, they can't go to their countries and say. Well, they I also rode a camel wrestle there. Turkey. They also wrestle. That's like an oh wait, what's the Turkish wrestling thing where like. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have something. We have a really intimate, interesting, sexual intimate. wrestling. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> Tradition. Wait, really can this weird. episode be called sexual wrestling? Sexual wrestling. Sexual wrestling in Turkey. Is there any other kind? Okay, so... Sexual wrestling, an exploration of Turkish culture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. I think we got our title, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It's, I guess and it's, it's like something like an, like an ancient, <laughs> ancient, like... 
quotes almost. It's so ridiculous. Not that I've ever seen someone doing this, but it's a thing. I know that they're doing this in like villages and like places and they have tournaments of this. So what you do is you get two dudes that are like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already it's like not where the funny going. story that just starts with get two dudes. It's so it's like it just they just have to have penises. That's what they that's... just gotta be bros. Okay, I can't. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, anyway, so two <laughs> topless dudes. Nice. <laughs> she she's like she's no, just let me just finish. It on. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to say topless. Let her finish. Dudes. Are they steamy? <laughs> Can you see the heat coming yeah. off they their bot warm body? They're greased, aren't they? They are greased. They I knew it. <laughs> grease or oil on it. themselves, and then they wrestle. And you're allowed to grab the person, like, wherever you want. You can just, like, put your hand inside the, like, pants and just grab and stuff like that. So it's weird. That's called porn. <laughs> Wait, so these guys and are jerking each other off? Like, these tournaments. Horrible, like, <laughs> yeah, show. Yanka, I've seen some tournaments. It's called Pornhub.com. Yeah. They, they sound very similar. Pants, of course. This particular tournament is streamed from Pornhub.com <laughs> slash Turkish KY I was going to say, I think America yeah. has a lot what, what, of uh, what link wrestling. Is that? <laughs> Sexy wrestling okay. rings going on right now. It's wrestling. <laughs> Plus oil, that's it. Southern it's California like scene is locked wrestling, into this. Wrestling that you think, like you I can think just Turkish like... men are generally like a little bit hairier than. Ooh, I got a I got a, a specific hair question for you, Yanka. <laughs> so I've heard rumors and I've, <laughs> and I've read about uh, <laughs> Turkish mustaches. I have some questions. Oh. The mustache is pretty popular over there, right? Is that like an Urban Dictionary thing? It oh, bro, I gave her a Turkish lately. mustache, bro. There's is. a reason for that. It's it's sort of a religious thing, actually. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. It can go both ways. It can be a hipster thing. It can be a religious thing. It depends. But on the what mustache is culturally culture. important to Turkey, right? Ah, uh, it used to be. Like, right now, there's not, like, especially considering that, like, if you're living in, like, a secular you know, like if you're raised in a secular family, or whatever, like if you are not attached to religion at all, like there's no such thing as like, you know, you have to grow a mustache, it, no rules, anything like you can just be bare face. Why whatever. wouldn't they grow a whole beard? Is it just too hot in the summer? No, they grow a full beard. Like that's a new thing. I guess like they're going for this hipster thing right now. A lot of the like all the dudes have beard right now. I, that's I, interesting. But I, I didn't of... know. Mustache, I guess that used to be a thing. Like men would grow like giant mustaches. How long ago? I, not right now. Ah, uh, maybe in like 19... 19- Oh, Johnny, are you talking about those, like, what? thick, thick, old ones? Yeah, I guess so. Mustaches? Well, I, I had read online that there was, a, the, like, the leading plastic surgery thing in Turkey for a few years was mustache, like, implants. And I wasn't serious? sure. I've right? never heard. Okay, that's... They, they take true. it from, like, that's the back absurd. of the neck. Are you dropping then, a Joe Factor fiction at us right I now, think, No, I really... I, I genie, remember, I've genie never vibe. heard such things I remember being convinced by it, but it might have just been fake news. So it's a genuine it's question. If the, if mustache transplant fake. surgery is a real thing, or mu- mustache no, that, plugs, so I don't know what you would call it, but... Well, Turkish men don't have any problems with being hairy, so they can just grow a mustache whenever they want. They got plenty of hair to want. go around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So but they probably could, they wouldn't. There's got to be some though, them. right? Yeah. Why would they need to? Yeah, exactly. There's got to be one albino rhino Turk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Is that a question? Let's <laughs> <laughs> start calling you Luke the albino <laughs> rhino. Anytime you enter a ring, Luke. That's a character from BoJack Horseman they get. Oh, that's right. There's a yeah. rhinoceros who's a gynecologist, and he's known as the albino rhino gyno. <laughs> That's a great show. You know what's really interesting? We were watching BoJack the other day, Johnny, and we realized that all of these Netflix original shows, you can switch not only the subtitles into different languages, but also like the actual audio. And the audio is actually performed like brilliantly in these different languages. They get yeah. real actors to really do it, you know? And they don't just do like a cheap one for one translation kind of thing. They really like if it's a funny saying in English, they find some kind of equivalent funny saying in Turkish, you know? Yeah, jokes were hilarious. I, like, actually started, like, I love Bojack, but I was laughing out loud for the, like, when we watched it in Turkish. It was and amazing. did you learn yeah, anything like, from it, Luke? Well, so I learned that, like, it must suck to be Yanka, like, in a different country. <laughs> is, it, is the story changed at all, or no, they keep that? No, this it's exactly the same episode, it's just, like... Some jokes are, like, they didn't translate it literally, but they kind of transformed it for a Turkish person to laugh as well. Mm. But it was, like, very well thought, like I can tell. It was, like, clearly planned out to work. Because exactly. Turkish television is amazing. I was Googling is it? how it used to... The, the, uh, I don't know if it, you're familiar with this, but there's a period where they just ripped off every American show. I think they still do it sometimes. 
Survivor, yeah, like, it, right? they just do a Turkish version, but I don't think, like, there's a Turkish Star Trek I was watching. I was like, that couldn't have been licensed by Turkish CBS. Star Trek, yeah, I guess, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, those are, like, old the, Turkish They did, like, Turkish like... Superman, and they just get Turkish actors and actresses and just way lower budget because it's for such a small Yeah, those audience. are happening That's in the 70s. funniest part of it is, like, the budget is low, so, like, you're seeing, like, those you're like, hilarious. wait, this isn't Star Trek. Yeah. Wait, what are they saying? The transporter scene's <laughs> hilarious. They just make the screen go blurry and then pause the camera and they walk off screen and then they, <laughs> like, they just make it blurry those, and then they. Do those a cut are like, like that. listed, listed one of the worst movies in IMDb as far as I know. Like it some was of amazing them. the it's clips I was so watching. I was wondering. It's hilarious for us. Do they still do that? Right like rip off shows? No, of course not. Those were in the seventies. Oh, okay. Though. I mean, probably they, I don't know, get American shows and just. Because I think I saw them, the Turkish office on there too. Turkish office. Turkish office. I think that might be a thing. That might have just been a meme. But I was googling Turkey pretty hard the other night. Getting ready for this. That's nice. I don't think we have the office now. I I don't think we can have the office. Like humor is just so like. It's definitely one thing. Like we were talking, we were grabbing a beer last night, um, and I was just sort of like thinking about doing an episode on Turkey. I was like, oh, Yanka, what's your like? What do you think is like the most different thing, you know, like what 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 just doesn't really work the same here? And the answer was like the humor, you know, like there's not just the part of humor is it's like very, the speed it's experience and expectation. And so different cultures, it's got to be different. Right. I think I think when you zoom into like humor, like speed is obviously a really important part of it, you know, like. Um, and so when we switched this BoJack Horseman show to uh, actually speaking in Turkish, like she was laughing at exactly the same time as me, as whereas like usually it's like a delay, you know, and she was laughing harder. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, that's part of it. Like you can enjoy how it funny more, something yeah. is, is like how yeah. fast it happens. And it's like a comedian makes you laugh when they say something that's really funny, but they connected the idea moments before you were able to. Yeah. And so, like, you had that little distance of, like, like you were trying to, like, chase the thought to get there. Timing. And, and they like, found oh, yeah. the punchline first. It's all about timing. Yeah. I mean, I still, I still enjoy American humor, but, like, Turkish humor and American humor, of course, I don't fully understand the American humor. But, like, they're almost, like, two different personalities in my head. You know, like, ones, yeah. the one that I, like, the one personality that I understand that I understand the American humor, it's like a different person, and the other one is just different. It's it's going to through different filters. I got I guess, an American joke for you, Yanka. Okay. Why <laughs> did the redneck cross the road? Because he wanted to cross the road. No, because he got his dick stuck in a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> do you get that do you, do, yeah do you get no, that no, one no, give me a second get, let's uh, see if she gets she, it but see that might not be a joke in turkish and then why did the chicken no cause... okay i it's like a racist joke no is it no yes, um, i'm not even gonna try it no. depends if you consider redneck see, that might, see that's why i didn't think it would work because like it's an offensive thing it's no. offensive to redneck yeah. okay were they fucking animals that's yeah the implication. sometimes yeah. Okay, see, like, I That's got part it. of the joke. We have those jokes, But too. if you called somebody a redneck, they'd be like, fuck you to begin with. Like, it's already a That's term, a nice like, a derisive term. Someone. But yeah. if you can make exactly. it chicken fucking funny, then they might not mind it as much. Can, can I analyze it a little <laughs> I bit, I don't Johnny? know about that, Johnny. Here's why I think that joke's funny on, like, a few different levels. It's hilarious. One, <laughs> it's really there's a, a standard setup for a joke, Yanka, known as, uh, why, how did the chicken cross, or why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, see, I have no and there's a bunch that. of answers oh, okay, to yeah. it, and the no, jokes right, turn right. into all these variations. But they're always, like, kid-friendly, very, like, not, yeah. like, you know, they're, they're, they're nice jokes. Like, they're they're family-friendly kind of thing. Or, like, what? Right. And so yeah, they're usually Johnny really bad. set up this expectation, yeah. like, why did the redneck cross the road? It's like, oh, it's going to be one to of those. It'll be kind or, of funny, you know, but it'll be stupid like that. It won't yeah. be more than rated PG-13, yeah. right? Yeah, it'd be like, oh, because he got kicked out of the other bar right. or something, something. something, something or his whatever. cousin was waiting and for him over there. Funny. Yeah. And right, because they bang cousins, yeah. too. To slip in Thanks, because Joe. he had his <laughs> dick stuck up a chicken's ass. <laughs> it's like, oh. Because the chicken was crossing, and he was stuck in the chicken, so he had to go along. Yeah, that's right, so what makes it funny too. Yeah, I finally left. Because the chi- and, and like we already chicken. know that there is a chicken crossing many roads, yeah, and many the... people were asking why did the chicken do that? Like, be like, oh, look at the guy with the dick in the chicken. That's why. Yeah, and like, oh, why is that guy's dick in a chicken? Like, you could even make that joke a layer deeper. It'd be like, why did the 
why did a redneck cross the road? Because he had his dick stuck in a redneck who had his dick stuck in a chicken. <laughs> oh, there you go. Have a chain See, Luke gets it. I, yeah, I didn't think it would fucking translate each well. other fucking chicken. That could be our logo. <laughs> no, it can't. <laughs> I mean, our Pornhub.com logo. <laughs> All right, maybe. Now you're being reasonable, Luke. Uh, what's your favorite word in Turkish, Yanka? Uh, Just like favorite word, whether meaning, sound. Mm, I have one, yeah. Yeah. Büyü. Büyü. Meaning? Is that short Meaning, for... it means magic, charm. It's a beautiful word, oh. I think. I don't Büyü. Know. Boring. Yeah. Büyü. Oh, I like that. It's nice. And Büyücü is wizard. Huh. It is, yeah. Büyücü, Johnny. So I, I, when I first started learning <laughs> Turkish, Johnny, yeah. it's it was like maybe two months before I went to Turkey. Oh. And then I got there, spent a few weeks in Istanbul, and then went on vacation. And I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll bring the Turkish version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with me as, like, beach reading. Not bad. And, like, yeah. I opened the first chapter. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, I can't read this. Yeah. Like, I, what did I know? Like, I knew how to say, hello, how are you? Like, can I have coffee? My poop and I fucking right. thought, like, well, Harry Potter won. Like, how hard could that be? It's, like, really hard. Yeah. It's a lot more words than the ones you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I would Almost have a hard time understanding or... that in English before I came here, probably. Sure, yeah. Like if, well, any and book. I knew some English, you know? But that's true of yeah, any Yeah, they book. grow up learning English. Right? That's one yeah. advantage, like, everywhere else in the world has, is, like, they actually learn a foreign language. Well, they English. learn our language, which is not foreign, because we're America. Oh, we so. won? <laughs> I forgive you. This is the moral of my story. So is, is Anatolia just part of Turkey, or is it all, the whole country? It is... A good question. I don't want to say anything wrong, but I, as far as I know, it's Anatolia is the sort of like the inner middle part. Is it like the flat? Turkey. Is it the plains? Like we would call our Midwest? It's just the yeah, area. Yeah, it should be something okay. like that. Maybe. Yeah, like that's the area. And like a lot of histor- like history happened there, I guess. Like that's why like it's significant. I, ha- I have I, some Turkish military fuck, I knew trivia. About that, but... Like just famous battles that happened in Turkey and stuff. Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember all of them right now. I learned them at some point, but yeah. Like, what's oh. what's history class like growing up in Turkey? Because you guys have so much. How do they teach it? Yeah. So, we have a lot of different, like, we have before the Turkish Republic, we also learned the Ottoman Empire. We learned Roman, Byzantine, like, we learn all those, actually. So, history kind of takes a lot of years. So, like, modern remember... Turkey was founded in 19... 1923. Yeah. yeah. Before that was other shit. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Other shit. Yeah. At yeah. World War yeah. We learned yeah. all of them, but I yeah. don't remember any of that right now, I guess. But anyway, right. Troya is in Turkey. Interesting information. Yes, Troy? Troy. Troy. Yeah. Troy. Yeah. Yeah. It was in Ili- exactly. Ilium, right? Horse and everything. Have you been there? E- no. No. No, Weirdly, no, they don't know like, exactly where it is, but... I think, right? No, they found it. It, it. It's in a place. They have like an place representing that i guess like approximately they dug up some they ruins and they're like wasn't yeah, it probably. wasn't it famously burned to the ground a long time ago there's probably not much to look at what's well, yeah, kind of i guess so nothing they have this like symbolic weirdly yeah. made horse to represent it and that's it and i thought like, it was a camel the horse. <laughs> speaking of you know america imported camels for a while in we the did 1800s in... we did why there were also native camels in America before, yeah. like the back in the day, like thousands of years ago, and the Native Americans ate them mm-hmm. all, <laughs> and they did. They hunted them. Well, to climate change and, and stuff too, right? Well, that too, yeah. But people were also eating them. People be eating. Camels. Yeah, I mean they're slow Eat and kills. delicious, but no, the navy or no, the army <laughs> um, imported them to explore the Southwest because horses kept dying. So, but the, actually, it was the uh, the donkey lobby. Mm. Uh, blocked it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's a real thing. But they're very the, In the 1860s, the donkey lobby lobbied hard in Washington to prevent uh, foreign camels from Wait, coming imagine, in. Imagine, like, your job is working for the donkey lobby. <laughs> you're just smoking you're at, like, cigars a barbecue, and drinking You're like, scotch. oh, what do you do? Oh, I am uh, pretty high up in the donkey lobby. But in the 1860s, <laughs> you, you know... <laughs> you call it a donkey because <laughs> you're high up in the yeah. donkey lobby. <laughs> That's what the upper uh, echelon refer to them as, the donkeys, yeah. the monkey donkeys. The monkey dogs. Um, the monkey dogs. Yeah, like you could also be in like the human slaughter lobby back then. Like things were yeah. a lot harsher. So that's actually it, pretty good. Like one there to were be a in. lot of worse lobbies to be yeah, in. Yeah, a lot the of worse causes lobby. to support than yeah, not importing. Do you know what country has the most oh. wild camels? Uh, wild camels. So back to Joe's factor fiction. Um, nope. I I'm just gonna say Australia. that. I think, you know, the decoy is that you would think that Turkey has a lot of camels, but it actually has very few. Well, the fact is... Would you agree, Yanka? We might have 
a lot of camels. Oh, I knew it. But all this like, time, okay. we're like, oh, turkey. <laughs> Wait. We think of camels. Uh, and, think of uh, uh, okay. and Yaka's like, that's ridiculous. Wait. Why would you always think of camels no, just because you think of turkey? And minute. then I ask her about camels, and she goes, well, actually, we have a lot. <laughs> we have wrestling and camel just over rides that, and yeah. camel Just ships. over that hill, there's camels. There's camel, 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 camel yeah. population in my country. Okay, all I know is I don't see a camel. All I know is I don't see a camel when I go out and walk. Like, when I go out of street and walk. Like, I've only seen camel in my life for five times, probably not six that's what i know so i don't know the population if they live in the forest deep inside <laughs> like, in the uh, forest, kind of forest the camels whatever i don't know what no do no no the, fa- <laughs> <laughs> the forest cam- i believe those are called moose i think we found whatever a new episode name forest camels forest, forest camels, camels. No, the fact is, the fact isn't, that's why I said the fact about Australia, because Australia has way more wild camels than any, there's very few wild camels left, it turns out, uh-huh. uh, and Australia has a ton, just because, like, uh-huh. they got into the outback and just started banging yeah. and nobody ever did anything about it. Australians or the camels? I don't think we have a Both. place yeah. that camels Similar can just stores. wander around. No, 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 but that's why this yeah. fact is about domesticated camels. Yeah, so what's the fact so again? The fact is that Somalia, Kenya... China, Russia, and Israel China. are all ahead of Turkey in terms of their domestic camel population. Not as individually, a group. not to, not, not all of them combined. Individually, so Somalia, yes. Israel. What were the other ones? Some, S- Somalia, Kenya, Kenya. China, China, Russia, and Israel. China does have a Those, big desert in the middle of it. Now, John, it's funny desert. that Russians mm-hmm. have more camels. And Russia has that is could funny. use camels, but they probably ate them all in the 20th century. No, but <laughs> Yanka, this might not be true. That's the point. That's, that, could, that could be false. It could I be that Turkey true. has the most Turkey camels. Turkey might be just and that's above why I'm trying to get your I would say it's camel true. knowledge, but you're sitting here saying, like, I want to say Turkey has camels. I want to say Somalia has camels, but I don't know. Well, what would Somalia do with camels? What does Somalia do in general? It's a huge country. they got, like... Like thousands of miles of coast. It's a big country. They make coffee, don't they? Do they make coffee? Who? Somalia. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so uh, they make Kenya. pirates. They make pirates. Don't they? Don't they make yeah, probably? They yeah. Yeah. Somalian coffee. pirates. There's lots the of coffee that I've comes of. out of Somalia. <laughs> Besides, like pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, do you think that there's anything to this like forest camel idea? Or... <laughs> that's not an idea. I mean, that's just that's as helpful as <laughs> is, is that it? Is that all Yank is gonna help us with? Is that I, I mean, the are full here I am thinking I like she could help me get an estimate of the camel population, but she's just spouting out forest camels. I didn't know Turkey I've had never forests. I've seen a camel wandering around in a city in a place. No, it, but they're not. It's not about Turkey. wandering camels. They're domesticated. So, so what are they doing? Are they people? I don't know. Aren't they're at, they're at people people's farms. Do people put them in their houses? No. <laughs> oh yeah, as pets or like how people have horses around here. Is their milk very desirable? You can ride them. I don't think so. Pro- it should People be ride touristic camels. again. Like all oh, the only people thing ride can... camels. What are you talking about? You can use them to move stuff. They walk. Thank Thank God we have like trucks <laughs> and walk? stuff, so we can move stuff. No, people with trucks. people still Why move you supplies. Just get a dog? Camels in the street. Yeah, state. over certain terrain where there's not roads. Makes for really great yeah. photographs, like with like sun and that desert too? backgrounds. You yeah, know? for your cigarette. Well, I think <laughs> I think traditionally <laughs> people your think of Turkey as having a lot of camels because Istanbul was a huge trading hub. And camels were the ca- the trucks and the cars of the day. So if you had people coming to your city to trade goods, they were bringing them either on ships or if they were coming from the east, probably camels. So, well, well, so you have to ask, you have to look at these countries and say, would these countries have reasons to have more camels? Well, that's what I'm thinking about. Say, the, the fucking Silk Road ran through China and the Gobi Desert. Why is a Maybe camel, a Johnny, camel advantageous stuff. to a horse? Why is the camel better? You know? Uh, I think they need a lot less water. And so they're a little hardier. Then that would, like but, but yeah, for like desert environments. But if they're if they're hardier, that means that they would be, th- they're ideal for a desert, but they would still work just as well in Russia, right? Yeah, like I a, mean, I think there's well, different kinds of camels, but yeah. Like, can they carry more weight than a horse? I'm just trying to think. Are there reasons that these other countries would like bother having? A lot. There's of definitely. I bet, I bet an alpaca or something like, is technically a camel, and, and that's what he's getting us on. Uh, no, he's getting no, us on like a category of words. No, no, I'm talking about camels. Like, like cigarette the, camels? The kind we know. Yeah, the camels <laughs> that you know. All right, Yanka, yep. give us an estimate. Just like give us a number. No more words about forest things. <laughs> you want a number? No more. Just a number. Why would she know? Luke, anymore. Luke, if I asked you, give, give me a number. number. Luke, if I, I asked give you and me Luke. a number of horses in the United States, yeah, what I would you say? Okay. Yeah, what would you say? I would say 50 million. Three seconds. Three seconds. 
I fifty could, million. I'm thinking Luke. like I know one person Johnny, with three horses, so every up, yeah. ten people has three horses. Okay, <laughs> ten people <laughs> have three like, horses. People have horses <laughs> in their so how many horses? backyards and stuff in here. I see it sometimes. I know, like, I but not know everyone. <laughs> but when you do have a horse, you tend to have multiples. Views. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah. every tenth person has three horses. <laughs> uh, approximately. <laughs> so how many horses is that so total? Three hundred million uh, divided by. <laughs> Just watch your brain math break down there. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, give me a number. Just give me a number. Um, I want to see if your number is closer to than her number is for camels. And I would turkey. guess 25 million horses exist in the United States. Okay, let's see how, how many. How many, camels how many exist horses did you say in the U.S.? 25 million. 25. I said 50. <laughs> well, that's double. Uh, Bianca, <laughs> what's your guess? How many or horses or camels? In America? Horses in America. Horses in America. I don't know how we got on this, but we did. It's here. You said 25 million? I or? guess 25 million horses based almost entirely on nothing. I would say... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I would say like 40, 50 million more, probably. Okay. Johnny, have you just looked yeah, this up? Yeah, it's about... It's just over, between 9 and 10 million. Because the uh, numbers are a little old. But okay, yeah, between yeah. 9 and 10 million. So, so you were off by like half. Well, Johnny was off by four. Yeah, I was off so. by orders. All right, order so should we two. should we downplay our our camel numbers for turkey then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think we're over. Well, Yanka never gave us a turkey camel number. Yeah, can I you? Have no so what we just did well, for horses. That's not helpful. Can okay. you do it for camels? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> do you realize how seriously you yeah. asked such a ridiculous question, Luke? <laughs> I just like looked at Yanka very seriously. Seriously, I was like, Yanka. What we just did for horses. <laughs> you, you do, do for, for camels. camels. Yeah, come on. So is your, your best guess. Fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. What's yours? <laughs> Luke's just pouring his beer I'll, first. Maybe even, even not I even think, that much. Uh, uh, not even more than thirty. 10,000 events. Oh, really? 10, okay. 30,000. 10, 30,000. I like that number. Um, yeah, we'll give, just give you that range. <laughs> like, no worries. Yeah, we can do range. Margin of error, um, I believe, is the... All right, fine. I'll choose yeah. 20,000. Okay. We definitely have more. That's not the question. It's whether it? these other countries are leading it or not. <laughs> I love how we just changed the thing to guessing a number. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. I was because I was well, just about but, to guess a number two. I'm like, wait, what? No. But here's the thing: if you if you guess, but if you guess the number, that'll help though. If you guess, the, no. If you guess the number, I'll tell I'll tell you if it's right. I'll tell you if it's right, and maybe that will give you some context uh, as to based on the size of these countries. Oh, you're giving hints now. This is a hint. All right. So is our number is anywhere close to accurate? Johnny never guessed a number. Ooh. All right, Johnny, guess a number. Uh, I'd say six thousand. Six thousand. All right. Are, is any of us close to the number of actual camels in Turkey? Oh, I have no idea. Okay. Oh. So I'm no, gonna no, say I'm no, no, no. It's it's about it's about the num it, the numbers actually vary. I found I I actually looked into this fairly deeply. Did and you really Google how many camels are there? In Turkey? Like way too long today. Like during office hours, it was pretty bad. Um, <laughs> it's anywhere from like 1,500 to like 4,000. It's not a lot. So it's it's oh, not more close. than 4,000. Okay. I bet Israel has more than 4,000 camels. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the fact. Yeah. They, they... yeah, but what if Israel does, but not any of the others? On China? The list, you don't all think China has at least 4,000 camels? China? But they're domesticated. We're not talking about wild camels. Remember that. Yeah, but it's China. There's 2 billion people there. I'm but they have weird import-export rules, too. But they have a desert. Um, and a bu giant wall they have to maintain to keep the Mongolians no. out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go with Johnny, too. I'm going to say true that... I think, think it's, it's part of this factor fiction is sort of playing on the decoy that we think Turkey has a lot of camels. But I bet camels are useful anywhere, including China. Then again, they have a lot of beaches in southern Turkey, and everyone wants to go there to ride the camels. So there might be, like, <laughs> just camels all over the beaches there for people to ride romance. There are camels in beaches. Yeah. I'm not going to deny that. Wait, what? no. So wait, we got wait, forest wait, wait, camels? We got desert. That's where there aren't camels wait, on beaches wait, anywhere wait, else. Wait, Hold on. Are there second. ocean camels, the camels, too? Do you have lake camels? No. Where are the mountain <laughs> camels? <laughs> Like sea, li camels like are, sea lions. Wait, not that camels are like just you walking do have to be around by with themselves. That. Wait, so what are these beach camels up to? People ah. would buy them and then just walk them in the beach so that tourists can be like, oh my god, there's a camel. Oh, it's, we're in <laughs> Turkey. Let's ride a camel. And then they would just be like, wait, hey, there are I'll rich people who bought money. camels? 
to not rich people, camels. fucking poor people. Oh, like, giving just... camel rides. Exactly. Oh, people. camel rides. I, I pictured like Too a dumb, rich, rich person people. who's like, I know what I'm gonna do on my Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna <laughs> impress the tourists by like walking my camel. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, like people it's not like Xerxes. Like, like, like... You know, like horseback rides. You know, five dollars yeah, yeah. per whatever. It's like the, It's like the equivalent of the ice cream truck in the United States going to the beach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you wouldn't see one. Like I'm gonna have an awful day by making like fifty cents per transaction. Right. You wouldn't see tons of them. You would see like one walking around like one second and then you would never see what's the same their poop thing. like it's gross what does yeah. that mean what is know. their it poop like bad. it smells bad i think why would you, what, of course what, it what does. you expect it's actually very similar <laughs> yeah, to oregano I mean, yeah it's just an odd thing like with them they have oregano it shits very... yeah, it smells like it, it smells slightly like turkish well some animals like their poop doesn't really smell that bad like How what do you know yeah Please, like what like most birds how much bird poop have you smelt up close i used to live with two ducks he wrote the bird law. Did they um, shit on I used to live with two lot. ducks, this, this and like a... uh, one of them was like sick for a while. Since when? I remember when I first. What is he talking about? You talking about me? I remember when I first moved into. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about when you lived with the Johnny? Oh no no no! I'm, I'm talking about where I. You know, dog kind of shit everywhere. When I first chew. moved in, there were two ducks there, and that was just like part of like the deal. And I remember like one of the ducks had to be inside because it had an injured what leg. And so I would come I would come downstairs like like the first few nights that I was sleeping in my new place. This is where you live. And now? I remember coming down the stairs and, and like just being like, Man, life is crazy, just got out of a relationship, moving into a new place. And, there's and a like duck. every morning I went downstairs, I just like looked at a cage, I was like, Hey duck. Like <laughs> Hey duck. Anyways, they both got murdered. What? By who? That was a turn. By who? By, by like raccoons. Oh, that's not no, murder. Yeah, that's that just nature. They got right natured. outside my window yeah, while exactly. I was sound asleep. Why were they outside? Two raccoons just devoured them. Oh, they lived outside. Well, that was dumb. Mm. But Luke, it's their nature. They laid eggs and shit. See, that's why you gotta train a dog oh, man, to not eat your ducks because the dog keeps the raccoons away. But the ducks wake up the dog that the raccoons there. It's a team. It's that a team was a confusing thing. sentence. This is it another episode sentence, though. though. We're getting out on a dead ducks and stuff. Yeah, we never answered Let's the... Let's get the, back uh, to... Uh, oh, I, I answered. Answering? I'm guessing... What's Yonka's I'm answer? I'm guessing that... Um, Wait, what was the question? <laughs> the fact or fiction. Do all those countries have more camels than Turkey, basically? They do have more camels. All of them individually have to have more yeah. camels I than Turkey. I would say so. Well, or is it going to be like, oh, Russia don't have it, China does have it, so I have to actually... If that's the case, I have to actually here to countries individually and well think. yeah but well, you i don't just think have we're to guess if it... i i think we've done our camel math like we're really bad at it you you just have to you just have to guess if it's true okay or not. turkey has less camels okay less camels. so you all say less camels we're all on the same page yeah you're all on the page yeah. of less camels mm -hmm. you are all correct ah yes. yes turkey does have less camels and in fact somalia leads the way leads the i pack. knew it i said somalia the must have a lot of camels yeah For yeah johnny you were right on top of that how many camels do you think somalia has johnny Oh man, fifty thousand? Seven point two million. Shit. Oh my god, that's so many this camels. What the fuck are they doing? But why are Wait, we here stereotyping Turkey so, as camels? So you you know that there are camels in Turkey. Like people like do it for tourist shit or like yeah. camel wrestling or whatever. There's no such thing as or, camel uh, I'll put that. links in the description of the episode I've that prove otherwise. I bet we can find somewhere you can pay to wrestle a camel. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what to you. Tell got you. the money. Yeah, I you, guarantee. Yeah. You can't do that in, in Brooklyn, Yanka. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I um, don't even think you can find, like, hairy men, like, gel wrestling in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, you, can. Yeah, you can. There's, something, there's about. probably some sketchy shit is happening in some part of America that you wouldn't really identify yourself with. But probably same thing is true with my country. With like, I, I, bet, fucking, I, bet you, okay. I don't know. If, yes, if you have enough camel, money, you can hunt another know. human. All right, let's just move off of this because, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, all about yeah. how much you we're have we're good. to spend. <laughs> Anyways, funny it stereotype. It's I, I found everybody has that. Um, I, I mentioned on a previous episode, right? I was talking to my student. I was like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend's learning how to drive. She's used <laughs> to driving a little bit in Turkey, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, it's probably hard there. There's a bunch of animals all around the roads and stuff. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, w where would the animals be? Like, just like in downtown by the financial building? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, what? And if they're farms, you know? wouldn't they keep their animals? Like, they wouldn't leave them in the roads? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so which That's because your student probably thinks the president of Turkey is Admiral Akbar. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's probably that's definitely that's part of the issue. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to it's think. A camel. It's a camel. I think I used to think Turkish was like a mix of like that kind of accent, but like speaking partial <laughs> exactly. tongue from Harry Potter. It, I mean, it still sounds like that right. to me because I I don't know any Turkish, but. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's yeah. pretty accurate. Maybe don't Arf, like that. It's a little Lord Lord of the um, Rings ish. No, I I brought it up briefly before the Val Harmony idea of Turkish. What it is is like different it's endings and, and things you add on to it's words Val change based on what came before <laughs> it. So an O Joe is always followed by an U sound. An I is always followed by an E. Then how do you say always. ooh ah? Not always. There are exceptions but, yeah. to all these Those rules. Those are but... Turkish words, though. You can make sure. Then, like, so, there, we have some words that are from different languages. What does this right. song mean in Turkish? Yeah. Ooh, e, ooh, ooh, ah. Did I just curse at you? <laughs> what? Wow, 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 bang, bang. Did, how's yeah. that go again? <laughs> yeah. Is that a that curse That definitely word? didn't clarify what the fuck you're talking about, Johnny. <laughs> can you sing song. that again? Sing the whole song. Wait, wait, Johnny, Johnny, sing the whole song. I forget, Luke. Sing it again. How does it go? Ooh, e, ooh, ah, ah, shamalam a ding dong. No, that's not. That's how it goes. How does it go? Ooh, ah, ah, bang, bang, wow, bing, bang. I think that's it. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Why Johnny, you sound like you're having a stroke. <laughs> no, no. It's a dumb kid song, it's like nonsense. Like though. that's how Turkish probably sounds. It's like a kid. It's oh, like a I kid see. song or something. Oh, Yanka, I wanted you to just speak three sentences of just <laughs> yeah. like, ran- like say like what you did today, something just random Turkish, just t- to get the sound, the 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 rhythm of it, you know? Okay. Because it has a different rhythm than you might expect from like, it doesn't sound anything like Hebrew or Arabic, you know, like. No. It's it's because of this vowel harmony thing. It's a lot smoother. It like the things roll through each other with with it, in, a, in a musician and um, um, uh, terminology. You might say it has a very like sort of like legato kind of yeah, flow to it. I guess so. There yeah. are definitely some accents of Turkish that have a harsher, more throaty yeah. interpretation of like what the language sounds like. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'll but just say some. For the most sentences. part. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's like really smooth. It, it has like a uh-huh. um, a flow to it, especially like females speaking in Turkish. I, I think it's males that tend to have like the sort of like more percussive. That's like, true. Yeah. ne yaptınız bugün? Yeah, nobody like, would sound like that one. <laughs> I was impersonating your dad. That's not how we speak. Well, I mean, you know, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll All right. talk about my day. Uh, bugün sabah kalktım. E, spor salonuna gidecektim ama biraz geç kalktığımız için sonra gitmemeye karar verdik. E, bir şeyler yedik. Sonra ben biraz keman çalıştım. O da işe gitti. Bu kadar. That's it. Let me ask you a question. What part of that wasn't you saying stupid Americans? Exactly. <gülüyor> Wait, Joe, guess what she said. Uh, she got up and she went... Wait, places? I, okay. Wait, for a second, saying? I thought Joe was, yeah, like, thought Joe was nailing me? it for a second. I was like, Johnny, <laughs> Yanka said like three things in Turkish. And then I was like, Joe, what do you think she said? And he's like, well, she said she got up. And I'm like, oh, my God. But then I realized I told Yanka just sum up your day real quick. And that's how it got probably yeah, started. Joe, like she should... wasn't on a bender from the night before. Like, I got up. Oh, I did some joking. work, practice that came here. They'd be like, oh, my God, Joe speaks Turkish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have the wherewithal that's for that. Okay. Yeah, so that's how Turkish sounds like. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's it's like a little rhythmic. It ha- it has a um a sort of like um I don't, I can't I can't think of the, the the word for it, but it's smooth. It's not it's not like Yeah, we don't edgy. have any letters from the throat like a lot of people would think mm. like like we don't have that. Yeah. At Can all. you say that one more time? I guess you got the idea. <laughs> that should be enough. No, yeah, that, In any case, is... you get the idea. The Admiral Akbar kind of, yeah. Admiral <laughs> Akbar, what is that part? That's from Star, Star Wars. Wars Star Wars. Fish so... guy who oh, goes, it's a trap. Okay. I don't... Yeah, it's a yeah. trap guy. Okay. I, I talk know... like this because it's a trap. Oh, I didn't know that his name was Ed. <laughs> we'll link it in the description. Did I tell you? Did I... Admiral Akbar, we're linking? I know. Yeah, why not? Did I, I tell why? you guys the uh, the World War One <laughs> opium cigarette story <laughs> thing? About Turkish. Uh, yeah, Did I tell that on the podcast already? You said that on the last episode, I think. Oh. Or on the Vonnegut episode, I think. On the Vonnegut episode, oh, yeah. I think, yeah. About how they, they dropped the, the, the opium oh, cigarettes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a great story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was going to bring it up again. Yeah. But, Johnny, speaking of stories, I forgot in the, we were going to open the podcast with this, and then we lost track of it. What happened today? You texted me something happened in the grocery store or wherever the fuck you were. Hardware oh, store. yeah. Hardware I, store. I, I, I freaked out. I went to return uh, some tools to the... Uh, I'm gonna save this story for a drunk cast. Actually, it's pretty oh, good. Really? Yeah, I think I should. Save oh wow, it. he That's just fun. taunted the listeners. Yeah, he there. did. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's all, say this. All, this is kind of off. However topic, many of but, them. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> had a meltdown and went full like conspiracy theorist nut job at the hardware store. Did you do the voice? Uh, no, but I did storm out. And, and, 
How do you how do you, how do you storm out? What's your like your position like? Do you walk harder? Yeah. Do you stomp? Like, what do you, you what do you do? You, like, you, what strategies do you employ? Uh, I think I was like yelling as I left. That's usually storming, <laughs> right? Yeah. Sure. So like muttering angrily to yourself as you leave in a hurry. That's usually also storming yeah. out. You made sure to let them know that what they were doing wasn't a good enough job for the minimum wage they make, right? You made sure to do no, that. No, no, I got angry I at the whole store. I, I, I actually I, cursed out their corporate. Uh, uh, let, let's just save it. Let's save it for a drunk time. All right, we'll save <laughs> it. You know. Well, folks, you know, we'll, we'll, I guess, you know, give a dollar on Patreon and you can hear that. You can hear story. my meltdown story and why I still have this drill that I can't use. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. I think I just pieced together the entire story. Uh, um, I have some cool history stories about Turkey, though. So, Johnny, what 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 is like the um, history you know about? Like, do you know anything about like the founder guy Ataturk? And he did like a whole bunch of reforms, and he is one actually. People didn't have last names until he did did that really? reform. So, so he's, we he's gave like that the George Washington of Turkey, basically. Yeah, he's the George yeah, Washington yeah. of Turkey. Also, like. What is the quote? You have a quote, right? Chop down the turkey oh, tree. Yeah. He he was basically yeah. sort of the energy that brought like modernism. And, he was a like, soldier, by the way. That's what it is. Um, he was just a soldier, and then he equal rights of... for women and like. Oh, so he's is just... is he like a secular? Yes, yeah, well, very secular. At that time, monarchies were falling apart. Communism, the 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 communist revolution just happened in Russia. A lot of it was the post-war period. So yeah, it makes a, the interwar period. So it makes sense that a strong military leader would like modernize the country because that was the main reason they got their asses kicked in World War One. Sorry, Yanka, but you guys did get your asses kicked. No. Yep, that's the thing. I know I'm aware of it. Yeah. And then well, yeah, we had the... our in- independence. They were a great war. empire yeah, for so long, yeah. but they just that was the uh... end of the Ottoman yeah, Empire. Yeah, and like we did some weird strategic decisions and shit went down. And then obviously I'm kind of glad that it happened because you know. Like then it will be Ottoman Empire still. Imagine that. Jeez. Yeah, that might not be well, great. So it was yeah. definitely f- founded on on something really um, good like that. Yeah. Um, As the shit was going down, basically this guy right. Atatürk, he decided to kind of unite people around like modernism, more like Western approach, you know, mm-hmm. just like more science based and a lot of science based, like, modern democracy based, yeah, democracy editable, based, like yeah, exactly. So like the the quote she's about to read. I think it's something... Well, do you have it ready? Yeah, I do. Okay, go for it. It is. um, Science is the most reliable guide for civilization, for life, for success in the world. Searching a guide other than the science is meaning carelessness, ignorance, and heresy. That's nice. That's what... Yeah. So that's like his message to people, and there are other quotes that sort of carry this too, is sort of like, look, science is the most secure thing we have. Everything else is far too slippery, especially like people. So like, don't believe in me more than you believe in science. If I say something, but science says something else, go with science. Yeah, yeah that's modern. See, it's all yeah. part of that that ripple that I like to talk about coming off the Enlightenment from from to give Europe too much credit more than it deserves. Like just spreading out right. that like science now that we have a system based on reason and stuff. That's the best approach to other things too. You know, it took a while so to you think, spread out. What do you think uh, to either of you to like um, the type of energy that would would sort of say like, no, 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 like, let's turn away from that. That's not all there is, whether that be like a conservative religious thing or it's happening now, something like more, you know, let's say well, it's always been happening. on the left of politics that denies any kind of science like. It seems to be resurging a sort of like like in this when I was studying reading today a little bit about Ataturk and this kind of energy, it seemed to be like like a very healthy understanding because it was fresh off of the war pan, frying pan, you know, mm-hmm. like they were fresh right off of a war. And it's like, yo, we know that things can get violent if if you do any number of wrong and, and, ways to try and the keep wrong, a society together. And it can end up not being worth it. It can end up happening for the wrong right. reason. Be like, oh, that totally wasn't worth all of that violence. Like, let's try sure. to avoid Or that. maybe, like, stability for a hundred years under a dictatorship might be peaceful unless, like, violent deaths <laughs> are occurring. But then, like, 
the instability of that over a, the long term causes right. like way more suffering right. when shit goes down. Yeah, because you have other rulers who are like not capable. Yeah. So you know, I don't know, Yanko, would you agree with me? I think there's a lot more like sort of like like it's closer to the core there like the 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 patriotism that Turkish people have. Like 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 of course it's it's divided because it's a big country like anywhere else, mm-hmm. but there's a sense of just sort of like like if mm. if like you fuck with Turkey like th- then everybody's just together right away like yeah. There's a unity because, like, they're so close to their founding, and it was so, like, you know, important. Tumultuous? I don't know what that means. I just like that word. (laughs) Sorry to interrupt. I don't know. Like, do you guys think that, like, we are missing a patriotism on that level because, like, we we have no identification with, like, how it was founded? It was so long ago and so distant. I think it's just very different here because I, I. it, it's kind of like it's it's weird to compare that that point. I, I see the point, but it's weird to compare that between countries just because like the the backgrounds that kind of inform like why and how that exists the way it actually does in any given country. Like those foundations are so different. You know, like the socio cultural history in America is so. And if you look across like the the entire, I mean, America is a big fucking country. It's huge. It's like the size Although of Europe. Five of them could fit in Africa. Sure, absolutely, Af- yeah, yeah. absolutely. But it's still like the size of Europe. You no, know it's, I mean? it's it's big like, territory for a country. Yeah. yeah, and and so you go from one place to the other, and that's like I was saying, like when I was down south last summer, it was like totally different vibe. Like it almost feels like you're in a different country. But that's you talk to people and you're like, this is a different yeah, world. Yeah, like it really is. You're right, Joe. Because American nationalism is at least modern nationalism is where the superiority. We're the best. So you can be whatever. It, well, it's, it's American exceptionalism. Yeah, so you can do whatever place, you want. Right? It can be whatever you want as long as you're the best at it. You know, you can think, you know, we're the best because we do this or I build trucks for a living or we're the best because I work at some high highfalutin college up north teaching writing and shit you know but so right. it doesn't oh, matter Johnny, hear it doesn't matter what gone. it is because you're the best at it so that's why well, america is a little different than you know where an actual thing like turkish or pick another country you know african or whatever your identity is it's, but that's different among americans themselves right. i feel like that identity well like, my experience is i heard people just making fun of a patriot person not fun but like they can go too extreme i guess as far as i know and like what do you mean by extreme like a, you know, it's like America, like just gets into a point. But that's what oh, I mean. That's like, that's different. That's, funny, that's like, like a shallower joke. version of it. Yeah. yeah that's that, like a, I put a flag up in the back of my pickup truck. You know, like you, version of it. Hey, that looks yeah, awesome. Like, all right. <laughs> what I observed was love like, it or leave yeah, it, Luke. It was I don't know, like maybe people can go too extreme. That's why sure. like, nationalism is a great thing, of course, but you don't like express it too much. Well, there's a difference between nationalism and blind patriotism. I think sports, right? yeah. I think like... sports is a big reason, professional sports, why nationalism isn't as big of a problem. Because people just get that way about their sports. And I there's think so. I there think there people... policing the, the violence yeah. that does And around. they get it out of their system. Yeah. Instead right? of letting it, like, you know... Build like, up let the, the Philly fans throw poop at whoever they want. Did you see that you guy they... eating shit? That guy must have been hammered. <laughs> Wait, just like during the game, the, the or after, parade when after they won? They, they won the yeah. Super Bowl. It was got people in the streets just like hammered and walking around, and this guy picks up horse shit from one of the police horses and just goes, starts eating it in front of the crowd, oh, and they yeah. go nuts. Just goes ham He's on like, it. Rah! you know, the police department had to grease the like street yeah, lights work. in in Philly because the fans will climb them. And just knock them Whether over. they win or no, fall off and die. <laughs> Whether they win Wait, or the lose. The police greased the fucking no. yeah. streetlights in the, Philly. The day of the game. Yeah, because the, they will the, climb the, the street before poles. the game. Yeah. Just no matter what. Yeah. Like if they win because, or lose, they'll yeah. just they'll if, just start climbing. Because if they win, they'll climb to celebrate, and if they lose, they'll climb to riot. Well, because the streets so, get like, so you crowded that yeah, you, you people want to climb up to check it out. And then they fall and get fucked up. But yeah, they they or they're just crazy they Philly fans it, who but, fucking. But eat I saw pictures poop. of people climbed on top. They got on top even with the grease. And I realized now you just have the <laughs> cops try to catch greased up drunk people that they can't get a grip on. You greased it's them like up. It's like a greased watermelon in a pool. You're not exactly gonna catch like that. why would you grease up these people that then you're gonna try to detain? Like you're making it harder yeah. for yourself. Well, not only that, but like yeah. also like 
at, at some point, like, I think that would be the first thing you bring up in the meeting when you're like, all right, how are we going to handle the Super Bowl this year in Philly? Grease them like, poles. Get somebody them poles raised greasy. their hand and said, I say we grease, I say we grease up them poles. No, he just says, <laughs> grease them. And it's like, can you specify? Grease them poles. Nobody in Philly talks like Southerners. Like, yeah, like old Texan. Can you do a Philly accent, Johnny? I can't. It's a very specific accent. I'm not good at it. It is. It's like a it's like a northeast accent, but like a little uh, like a uh, like Pennsylvania country, right? Yeah. So I, I did want to get to this. I wanted. I can't do it. I'm gonna do yeah. it now so I don't forget. Um, we'll, we'll post Johnny. It in the you might be you might be somewhat familiar with this. I think I've shown you this video before, but in my process of like learning a new language, one of the things that freaked me out is just this basic idea of. At first, you're sitting there, and you're hearing something, and you're hearing a bunch of mouth noises coming from someone else, and it means nothing to you, right? It doesn't have any pattern recognition, so what you hear is mouth noises, right? But then when you learn a language, your brain, through the repetition and hard work you put into learning a new language, your brain starts to be able to... Um, take those mouth noises and find patterns out of them. And you, what you hear at first is a translation, right? In your mind, you translate to right, your... Right, you're like recoding it to your Right, own but then formula. eventually it goes directly to meaning. It skips the translation and goes like, instead of saying, Araba, car, and then thinking of the image of a car, when you think the word Araba, you just see a car in your mind. It is car. Yeah, so... Johnny, if you don't remember this, you might remember it. Joe, you probably know it. Yanka, I think I showed you this video too, but for you guys listening, um, I'm going to play a recording from a TED Talk. It's like oh God. a quick like four-second sentence. Hopefully it comes over this. the um, microphone. I hate it. But the idea is you won't be able to detect what this random recording is saying at first. <laughs> but then when you're told you get that? what it is oh, that you're actually okay. hearing, all of a sudden all you can do is hear exactly what's being said. And so it's this fascinating thing that broke my it. brain when I went yeah. through learning Turkish. I was like, oh my God, like I can't tell you why. Like Joe, I'm making sounds with my mouth right now, but you're hearing meaning and you have no idea why or how, you know? You're freaking me out, And you man. can't even help but hear words from me. <laughs> if you wanted to hear goo goo gaga out of what I'm saying right now, you couldn't do it. You can't help but hear the Yeah, if you right? start explaining something horrific that you did with his mother, he will understand it, whether he wants to or not. Yeah, yeah. whether I want him to or not. And, you know, maybe <laughs> whether I get anybody off on involved. telling him, you know? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to play this recording real quick. You can use new predictions to change what we consciously experience. Have a listen to this. Okay. Sounded strange, right? Have a listen again and see if you can get anything. Still strange. Now listen to this. I think Brexit is a really terrible idea. <laughs> Which I do. Um, so you heard some words there, right? Now listen to the first sound again. I'm just going to replay it. Yeah? So you can now hear words there. Once more for luck. It wasn't that. I mean, I know you I guys it. have already heard that before. I hate it but so much. Wasn't that a really like crazy like shift? Every and, time. I mean, but like nothing's as good as the no, but, first time you. But hear even that, hearing you know? it now, after not having heard it for it probably you a couple a months, bit, right? it, it makes me angry because I hear it. Like even when it's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I fuck Brexit. Exactly, me too. Yeah. Like I, 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 I can't right. unhear it. Exactly. Right, I've and heard so too that's much. what I mean. Is like not only can you not unhear or unsee yeah. things like you know when somebody you like let's say you find a particular actress really attractive or something go on like one of the funny things Which uncle will do sometimes we're like watching a movie and i'll be like yeah wow like look at rashida jones she's so hot or something and then like if she's like uh her eyebrows are too thick and now all i can see is that you know <laughs> yanka damn it i never said that for rashida jones. yeah not for no, rashida jones. it's true we agree that she's very hot yeah. it's like someone pointed out to me um before I saw the new Star Wars movie, that uh, what's her name, Carrie Fisher's dentures make it like really rough. So oh man, and, and that would have ruined it. It, for me. it ruined it for me. Every time she talks, she's talking about 
the rebellion and how it should shine. <laughs> and then so when I and you were just but when I got in seventeen seventy six when I got the Rebel Alliance. Yeah, when I got out of the movie and I said I mentioned it to them, they were like, <laughs> oh, she, they teeth. did not notice it. No one else noticed it. But every moment she was on screen with her giant chompers, <laughs> it was all I could think yeah. about, and it totally took it me out of it. And I was like, God damn it! And now nah, I probably just ruined it for some other people. But, but yeah. why would that ruin? I think you just post ruined it for me. Like I just go went back through and all watch the scenes, it. and go. I was like, oh, I'm you're pissed like, off. You're like she was it. a little yeah. dentury now that yeah. I think about it. <laughs> uh, Yanka, do you know what a would you rather is? Uh, yeah, I do. You know that you know yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah, you have to pick one, something like that. Right? Yeah, right. I think that's um, the intro. Thank you. Yeah, Yanka nailed it. Would you rather yeah, she, pick she one it. or pick another? Yeah. <laughs> and and pick what do we got? This one, my godlike powers are implicit in the question, so we don't really need to preface it. But would you rather? Gotcha. Basically, Istanbul or Constantinople. Now, oh. now there, there's some there's some restrictions here. Would you you can either. There's always some restrictions here. <laughs> I had two versions. Either you could live in Istanbul or Constantinople in any time period, pick a year. But I don't think we all know enough history for that to be as fun as it could. So the the new version that came up Fair with enough. is well, that's just a fun thing for the listeners to think about. Would you rather? Cause it was Constantinople yeah. up until 1450s, and it's been Istanbul mm-hmm. ever since. So there's been a lot of cool shit to happen since then. 1453, actually. 1453, exactly. yes. That's, oh. That's, that's it. Oh, you better watch yourself. You're dealing with Genie now. You don't want to. No, yeah, you yeah. don't want to show him up right, too much. Though. That's the number you, I have right now. You might think down. you're better at being Turkish than Johnny, but uh, no, no, yeah, just genie. maintain his respect. That's all. I, I'm just gonna because okay. I got wolves <laughs> taken away from me once, just, and I, I not just from you, Joe, from everyone. I found. Yeah, no, I got wolves permanently taken no, off the table. So here you go. Like, this is the version. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, you can freely travel in any point in history from now going back. And in this in this time, so I should preface: no matter what choice you make, you live uh, what is known as a Numenorean lifespan. You can Google that if you want, but basically you live a couple of hundred years, but you still Lord age, and, and you just much slower. So you live, you know, two to three hundred is the average lifespan. You know, you're going to start getting pretty old in your two hundreds. So yeah, uh, so you're not immortal, but you get to, you can really, you know, utilize this and have some fun and to spend some time in different places if you want. Okay, I'm going to live very long, three hundred. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. In either case, so you (laughs) can freely, you Uh can freely travel at any point going backwards in history and then jump back Mm -hmm. and forth, you know, however you want. But you can't leave the confines of Turkey. Of modern uh, Turkey, I, or I cannot live. What you can't, you can't leave the country. Oh, okay. Or you can travel to the past any time you want, but oh no, you can no no you can travel to any time in the future, but same deal, but in the U.S. So, you know what? I'll give okay, you past. I'm gonna give things. you past and future for the second part. Same thing. So it's either past, of the past in Turkey past or future in, in America. Future in America. But you can also do past in America. It's just not that much. There's only a couple hundred years, you know. And Johnny, in both scenarios, I'm living to like two, three hundred years old. Yeah, and you can spend fifty years mm. in the 1400s, and then go jump and spend ten years in, uh, you know, ancient see, Roman times, and then another five but years. But I can't go. Else. I can't go into but the future. Not if you pick Turkey, and you can't leave Turkey. Also, also, in both scenarios, I cannot leave the country. Yeah. No, no. Oh, you can't leave the country. In the first one, you the can't leave version, Turkey. I yeah. In the second one, the you, second can't one you can't America. leave America. But you can go into the future can't? in the America choice. <clears throat> how you far can't, into you can't leave the U.S. in that one, but you can go to the future. How how far okay. into the future? Which is in the, the unknown, one? by the way, right? Yeah, but how far into the future? I don't know how far does it go. Oh shit. Fair point. Okay, Johnny, what if you're on your little like fucking calculator time travel thing and you punch in a year that like is is doesn't exist. Let's say the universe ended. I don't know. Like does it just kind of like go grr, in you know, invalid entry or do yes. you just like disintegrate? No, no, yeah, yeah. It'll just be invalid. But let's say you pick ten thousand years from now without jumping ahead and the planet's just a toxic nuclear waste cloud, like you're you're done. Oh, because I can't go back. I no, can you can go, go back, forward. but like you, you, you're there. You're there in the toxic waste. You can't be like, this seems pretty toxic. I'm gonna head back. Oh, I've just gotten mass. I'm dead already. You know? 
Yeah, oh. right. You're like, oh, I warped into like a pool of nuclear. Yeah, light. yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. You so be you get that. Like, but if you do smaller jumps into the future, because you get unlimited amounts of jumps in a lot of time, you just keep oh, going so ahead. You keep jumping five minutes at a time, and hopefully you'll catch whatever five horrible minutes, five thing days, might kill you. Five years, whatever <laughs> you decide. Yeah. See how bored you get. Huh. Five years is enough time for like. You know, shit but then you could always just go back to the sixties time. and you know just get hammered on, uh, and fly That'd a plane be pretty or cool, man. You know? Well, what yeah. you said was you can go get back, but you cannot go as shit. much, right? What what is it? I can go back in the second option, but I cannot go as much. Is that the thing? No, like you, can, you, you can. I mostly go to future. In the in the first one, you can only go back in time. In the second one, you can also go forward. But, you're but both ones are unlimited and, yeah. usages Back of time as travel. As much time okay. traveling as you want. But you're only going to live to uh, at most like 300. What in if I don't do options? anything? Okay. I just stay in the present? No, no, well, bad question. You, you could do that. Oh, I thought you meant neither option. Yeah, you yeah. can go any time to history or now. Jesus. You could pick 10 years ago and just invest in stocks, you know, and live in yeah. the current yeah. time. Oh, that's and make, true. Like, you yeah, don't that have that's live, a good I would, idea, yeah. You could just get something. You could just go yeah, back, yeah, go yeah. back to, to, and just play the Bitcoin market. Buy Bitcoin just jump when, around. like, it was oh, yeah. first launched. Did you ever see uh, that, that, that movie Hot Tub Time Machine? Yes. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> like, we're in the 80s. We could do anything. We could invent Twitter. Wait, what the fuck's Twitter? <laughs> and he's just like, oh, shit, I don't know enough about the present time that I'm yeah. from to know what to, to invest profit. in. Certainly, I don't know how to invent Twitter. Yeah, exactly. He's like, how do I invent Twitter? Wait, fuck. I don't even know how to invest in things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, like like yeah. Yanka said, Bitcoin. You could just do that like 10 times. That's jump true, yeah. back to when Bitcoins were like 100 bucks a pop to back when they were peaking at like 18 grand or whatever. Do that two or three times. You got some seed money. Use that to buy some stock. Just keep doing that shit. Then you got a stew going. Then you got a stew going. Wait, but I can take the gold with me as I time travel? Yeah. You got to ha- figure out how to re- introduce it into the economy. If you just show up in the 80s with $20 trillion in gold, I mean, I'm not going to answer any it's questions awkward, for you. Yeah. You got to work that out. I would say, what about the language thing? Like, am I... You get able, you get a babble unable. fish. You get magical language. Oh, that's no powerful. You gotta ask oh, okay. the genie questions because yeah. like even you probably couldn't communicate with like fourteen hundred. Now you can in this. Like, oh yeah, I would. It's Istanbul so language. Yeah. yeah. In this in this course. questioning, you do though. So you just get like a, a a genie babble injection into your brain, and like you can just hear and say everything. A, a universal translator. Yeah. Is that what you use, genie? Yeah, it's what it's what any once you get to a certain uh, sentience, it's easier than everyone trying to learn the same language. You don't even have to learn individual languages. You just speak like like the technology's Wherever almost you there. Whatever. Google has yeah, what about an those app Google? like that. Yeah, no, but Google also has these like earpieces. I think it's Google. Yeah, Maybe I think not. it is. Um, where they just like translate the language like as you're hearing it in real time. Oh, they're yeah, not they're not great. They just they're still not that. great. Yeah, but... they're. Not they have the fact time. that they're still like cell phones got really good within like five ten years. So there's no reason they're not going to get that. There's a demand for it. There's no reason they're not going to figure that out pretty quick. There, but there's a really fascinating thing about translation, which is like you can't obviously go word for word, right? But also sometimes you can't even go sentence by sentence. Like like there's each situation uh, deserves a different kind of level of translation. So if you translate too zoomed in, then you you make an awkward sentence like that's backwards well, from your. That's sentence. what AI is for. Right, but but I mean, what I'm saying is right now, like that's a good measure of AI because like humans are by far better translators than machines. It's like insane how much better they are. Or are they Not just, even... or are they just pretending to be dumb until we give them control of like our defenses, and then they like ha ha ha. We knew it. I think we'll have time. to ask Drew that, dude. Um, I'm not sure actually where he sits in terms of like worried about AI or like not worried about it. Yeah. What are you? Where do you sit on that? I'm pretty worried about it. Not because I, just because I think the profit motive is not in humanity's interest. <laughs> As the technology develops, it's going to make sense for people to use AI or abuse it uh, yeah. to get control and manipulate people against their own interests and stuff so i'm scared about just that just what humans are going to do with it um but also uh, the obvious sci-fi kind of robot apocalypse thing is also scary but right so in general yeah i'm pretty terrified uh 
about AI. I'm just worried because, like, as humans, we don't seem to be handling, like, pretty simple things, you know? So, like, how are we going to handle a really complicated thing? Yeah. I'm not saying any of the things we have to deal with are simple, but you, you know what I mean? Like, compared to what dealing with an AI would be, like, like we're dealing with pretty simple problems. Like, we just need to get along a little bit better. Yeah, how do we create something smarter than us to do our work for us that... That doesn't screw us up. Yeah. Over? Like, how do we make that fail-safe built in, and is that, like, what we want, really? Like, is well, that AI a good might goal? be like aliens, where it's just on a totally different level. Yeah. Well, I mean, it could be, like, they end up caring about us just as little as we care about a cockroach. Or it could be that they're totally just like, yeah, we serve humans, that's what we do, that's But I do function. think the comparison to we aliens is a good one. Like, it is like aliens coming to visit. That's what I mean. Like, we have no frame of reference to know, like, what aliens really value. Or, like, what their goals are. Buttholes. Or maybe they already know we exist and they can give two shits. It's buttholes, you know? guys. Look at the history. Well, What's we buttholes? already determined it was Is buttholes. Is it buttholes yeah. all the way down? I have to say, I would I would, I would, would probably choose the Istanbul one. It would be more interesting to know about the past and, like, like freely travel to the past. And, like, I could, like, educate myself. And, like, the fact that I could change positions constantly, I would just yeah. be, like, a magician. Like, y like your life yeah, would be, be like, cool the plot vibe. of a movie where, like... You're in ancient, you know, 1500s Istanbul, and, like, you meet a girl, and then, like, at some point, you have to tell her, like, I'm a time traveler, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah like, go fuck yourself. And then you and come back like, with right, some so shit You're like, no, look, future. my dick is in, like, seven places at the same time. You come time, back with condoms, like, and shit. she's like, oh, my gosh. Right, because you can go all the way up to 2018, yeah. correct? And, well, that's like, I could bring an you iPhone could, you could do, Luke, yeah. is You could go back there and buy a rug for, like you know, whatever, and then come back and they'd be like, <laughs> wow, you have a 700-year-old rug in amazing shape. And you're like, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Like, I took good care yeah, of it. Yeah, I, I, I think I would do that one just because yeah. I, I have more of a context, like a frame of reference for, and like, And you can study up how on I, it. Yeah, how in I 2018, you can read history books. I, you know why? You I, know? Think, I think I would feel like more of a genie as well. Mm. Yeah, I would You'd be, be more you're basically, basically like giving genie. us genie power. You're giving us limited Very genie limited power, genie which I guess... Yeah. Is this how you became like... a genie, genie? I, I, can't, you started? I can't. Was uh, disclose. We, we're not. We're, we're not up to the yeah, level. No, of I, I have my own non-disclosure confidentiality. Damn, we almost got the genie uh, to like. I can't discuss. Bit by bit. Self-incriminate himself. Bit. Well, this, still... whole, this whole podcast is just an undercover genie game. Yeah, this is an operation. Well, genies, role, well if I was if, trying to if get I him. was an immortal being with all this unlimited power, just like playing around with you guys. Like eventually, it would. I would have done everything so many times. I would want to start trying to screw. If there's something that could, uh, you know, destroy me, like that's what I would start playing towards. You know. And wouldn't eventually you try to like strengthen us so that we're like an actual good rival? Right, to and you? then in, to the point yeah. where you might actually be able to destroy me. So because otherwise, which is like it's giving not us. Worth it. Like unlimited time travel between well, 2018 uh, and any point other, in the past. Otherwise, he would just get bored. That's why you, you should always try to fight these genies and immortal things, and not just give up to the beings. Because some of them are so bored, they'll give you a chance, and then you can get lucky and you know take them down. Yeah, but don't they always have an out secretly? <laughs> Usually, but you know sometimes you clash of the, clash of the titans them. Yeah, right. All right, so Yanka, any other Turkish sayings that we uh, <laughs> yeah. didn't didn't list? Yeah. I don't know. Let me see. I have some screenshots. Um. Anyways, I would I would definitely choose Istanbul. Uh, yeah, I, time I'm, travel. I'm down. Huh. Yeah, I'm I'm down with the time travel to Istanbul. I, I, I like the, the idea one? of jumping around, Which like, one did... knowing what I already know about history, and being able to kind of like play within that and and just like move stuff around and and move around myself and. Um, kind of, kind of ride that genie carpet ride for a little bit, literally and figuratively. You could go back to the siege of Constantinople when it fell in 1453 with like M16s and just like fire them off the walls and then leave again, just so people are like, what the fuck? In your footnote in history, you <laughs> well, do wait, weird wait, shit that, like that. But could I change? What if I do that and change history? Oh, what if you do? Oh shit, Luke, we didn't even address that. <laughs> Like, cause what if I do that and constant? Like, can I? Pull... Aren't you already doing that, or have, is it? But one no, of those that's what I mean. Like, can I pull it back to the future thing, where like I'll go back to the future and I'll start like disappearing? No, no, no. It's You'll like an alternate fine. timeline. Whenever I change shit, like if you want. See, I'm giving you some no, genie powers I mean, like, here. What if I let you? But that's what be I mean. Like, what if I do what timeline. you just said? But that's what I mean. What if I do what you just said, where I bring the M16s back to the siege of Constantinople, save the city, I make them make me emperor, and then I'm like. 
eh, I'm going to check out what the future's like. And now it's called Jost and Opal. (laughs) Or no, like the future's a nuclear (laughs) wasteland just because of the chain reaction event. The butterfly effect type of thing. It's it's, a nuclear holocaust. Yeah, Ah. genie ain't easy, you know? (laughs) It ain't easy. We're not ready. Look, I just realized we're not ready for this responsibility. It ain't easy being genie, man. (laughs) <laughs> All right, I, I think I would still choose the, the Istanbul one and, and tread Not lightly. Not Constantinople. No, no, no. I, I might choose. Wh- wh- I would okay. tread lightly. All right. Yeah. What if I, I gave I would, you? I would, but what? It doesn't matter because what if I gave you the power to decide? Like you could do that and mess with the timeline and have it affect it, or you could go back and come back. Like each time you could change your mind. And be like this time I want it to just be like an alternate one where it doesn't affect. Oh, I can reset. Yeah. What if What if I give you that power? Oh. Don't you think you'd still get bored? Not I'll take a reset it? button. It's like a video game. You get like if you fuck shit up, you can just yeah. like start back. Yeah, until that's you cheap. fuck it up too much, yeah. you know. Until you can't even figure out how you fucked it up. It's like Rick yeah, and Rick I'm giving and Morty, you some power like, here. Morty, we only get like five chances to jump timelines. Like that's it. We can't. Just <laughs> Otherwise, keep doing it's it. just too fucked. Yeah. It just falls apart or something. Like he never actually says what the consequence <laughs> is. He's just like, we can't it's, do this more than like. Morty. Yeah. yeah. I, and it goes down throughout the series where he's like, we only get two more shots at this, Morty. Like. I told you. Yeah. I always assumed it was just because he, like, set a limit as a writer of how many times he wanted to use it. <laughs> that's possible, too. As a writer, that's definitely possible. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, good luck, mini genies. Let me know how you do. <laughs> what did you pick, I wish, we could, I wish we could run this Yonka simulation pick? off, but... Oh, I don't know. I would pick the second one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, she's going to... She's going to... She's gonna do yeah, the but American. She's already I'm been not to picking Istanbul. America. I'm just picking. No, I no. We know future, what you're doing. I would so say. you're saying that. Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah. So but you're are more you interested in the future. future. Well, yeah. Do just send a car to the space. I'm more interested in future. Of course, what's gonna oh, happen that's next? That's true. So Good point. I will just follow that. But I, I'm I'm yeah. not worried about the future. In Johnny's scenario, I was attracted by the past and just playing it like a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Like Assassin's Creed. Yeah. That's what I, I kind of pictured myself as being like yeah. myself, but like way more badass because I just have the confidence of like well, knowledge. Well, you also and like I said, power. Luke, you you live your, that your lifespan. Dark. I should pick the other one. If your lifespan <laughs> oh, is like three, you'll find a way to make that. Dark, you know, right? your your twenties is gonna last decades, so you could easily put a few years, like ten years, aside to become really good at martial arts, and then you know you can just fuck with wherever you right. go. You're not good, you know. That would probably would definitely be a good know. idea. Ezio, Ezio, whatever. I would definitely Ezio. find yeah, some, I love Ezio. Yeah. some time to learn martial <laughs> arts. It would just, just be a good thing to know, like, you know, just how to be like, yeah, like, just like, it's your like yourself. I, I like how you think it's just, yeah. Like Mac on Always Sunny. Whenever, like, he's confronted with Body actually blow. doing martial arts. It's all about the sounds. Yeah, and, and like, he was, I remember one time, uh, right. he, you know, he's like the bouncer at the bar, right? And, um, they were like, Mac, you don't even know what you're doing. And they're like, all right, pretend I'm a customer. Like, kick me out. And he's like, you sure, dude? And, like, he gets all tough. And they're like, yeah, just kick me out. And, like, they all they were doing was just standing there. make You know, like, make us leave. Like, see what you could do. How powerful are you? Yeah. And, like, he, he couldn't even make, like, I guess it was Charlie or whatever. No, he tries to choke Charlie out, and he chokes himself out. Right, that's what happens. <laughs> and Charlie's better, like, your yeah. bouncer just choked himself out. Right, and they're right, like, right. Oh, yeah, we need a real bouncer. I do fake karate <laughs> at work all the time to keep myself amped up when it start getting tired. I just start doing... <laughs> what, is he, what is he talking about? I'll go, Johnny fake karate, shot! I do kicks and oh. stuff. People are like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I really do. Yeah, but you also used to play toe knife games, so... <laughs> what do you mean used to? <laughs> I was playing the other day. With Our listeners don't know about foot knife. It's yeah. called foot I mean, knife. This is always knife. It's called foot knife. Foot. Always sunny. You know what's funny about foot knife, knife is foot. it it sounds like what it is, <laughs> which is Johnny throwing knives at his feet as they're over a board of cardboard. Yeah, you throw to... them at the other guy's foot. Right, but it, it's not a joke. Like I've seen videos of no, him so actually. So this is the game. This. Is you get like a piece of cardboard or ground or somewhere where you can throw knives into easily. <laughs> and ideally, you, ideally you should each have boots on. <laughs> get cardboard or get ground. <laughs> somewhere. Where is not ground? Wanna, I mean ground, like earth. You don't want to fuck up your hardwood, <laughs> you know? So prak. Yeah. So, but you, 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 and you, you put your on. feet like near each other. You know, you put a foot out. Another guy facing you puts a foot out like close to each other. <laughs> yeah. Though. This and then real. you take a knife yeah, next to each other. and you got to throw the knife and you got to get you each get a throw and whoever's knife is closest to their own shoe gets the point. <laughs> but if the other guy flinches at all, 
you automatically get a point. If so they just, can't move there. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. So sometimes the move is to try to get it real close to their foot so they flinch. So it's like a safer version of Russian roulette. As long as you're not I would say less samples. deadly. I wouldn't say safer. That's fair. I mean, it's Cause generally it's, Russian roulette. One person gets killed, uh, whereas this several, well, several Russian people could get cut. <laughs> yeah, Russian roulette. If you lose, you're, you're dead. But it's less this deadly. If you, yeah. This, if you win, you might also be cut. But if you lose, you got you might have a chance before bleeding. What's this out. game called? Knife foot. Knife foot. <laughs> Look, this is an actual game. This is what Chani just started doing at work one day. It doesn't mean it's not. What, what, what makes something actual? I've played with people. <laughs> no, that's, I mean like that's a different episode. I think. Yeah, that is a different okay. episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, fun. I think we're done here. We should probably wrap up <laughs> yeah. here. Let's wrap yeah. it up. Let's I, end it on knife foot. Yeah, our Turkish episode ending on knife foot. Everybody, <laughs> what the fuck was that? God, we're bad at this. No, no, I, I do have more questions for Yaka. Let's just steer it a little bit back. <laughs> More back towards. Uh, we ended the Turkish episode on night foot. <laughs> Yaga, what do you think about night foot? Really like it. Would like to try it. Do they play night foot in Turkey? No, we don't. No, they, they do night foot with uh, lubrication. So I do have a question about knives what? in Turkey. <laughs> what? What? Well, yeah, what's the Turkish equivalent of night foot or Russian roulette? I don't think we have that. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, Yanka, I have a question. Relative when you look at like pictures from the 1500s, fair enough. The the Janissaries, they're like the warrior class. They had these big, uh, like long, flat. <laughs> wow. Oh, that motherfucker! <laughs> that genie bastard. You know what? I just sat back in my chair and like. You started... sat back. You <laughs> yeah, sat back hard. Yeah. You were. Le- I was ready. Like you were leaning off. back. No, yeah. because like he he. <laughs> Luke is not happy right I now. I do have to. I have to be honest though. I totally forgot we play that game. I did too. I was. I, I wasn't even. I wasn't even cognizant of it. The, the, the fuck. Not even fuck. aware. All right. Wow. That's Luke, rough. That's rough. Luke That's is. Rough. Luke is flabbergasted right I now. I have nothing else to say. He, there's like, there's he nothing just, else to say. He just swept the floor with us. He swept just, clean. Um, yeah. I think next fuck. episode we should start it and just end it. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> like we'll just turn the Wi Fi off and be like, fuck you. Like thirteen seconds in. Yeah. Just like doo yeah. <laughs> doop. Close out. Or just like like text Kara and be like turn the power to his head to the house off or like, at exactly <laughs> cut this the time. Wires. Yeah, cut the wires. <laughs> Wait, that means his recording will get fucked, but well, you it's know worth what? it. Fuck him. All right. Yeah. Fuck you, Johnny. Yeah, fuck you, Johnny. Well, well done, well, though. Well done. Well I played. hope you really have some... He got me with the Janissaries. Some I, Janissary I wanted to know about story. the Janissaries. As soon as he said the word Janissary, I was like, ooh, like I remember some shit about exactly. Janissaries. Yeah, me too. I'm like, oh, I'm ready to. All right. Yeah. Uh, Yanka, thanks for joining us. Uh, Do you have any final Turkish right. things any to say? Any final Turkish things? How do you say uh, uh, like, share, and subscribe? Thank you in Turkish. Just say. I said that, I guess. Don't say oh, the like, share, that. and That's subscribe true. thing, but. Um, How do you say thank you for listening? Dinlediniz için teşekkürler. Çok teşekkür ederim. Sizi seviyoruz. Hepinizin amına koyayım. Hepinizin. <laughs> ah, she said shove it in your pussy. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Şaka. I knew she was saying stupid American yani stuff. Yok. Öyle bir şey var. What? Did what? you say umbrella? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Wait, really? Sit on that umbrella. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, see you guys. Yeah. I guess yeah. that's it. Thank you for joining us for our, Tur- our first Turkish episode. You I, know what I learned, Joe? We really I can't. A lot. I can't do episodes. Oh wait, well, my Johnny, mic isn't on. No, oh, it wait. is. Yeah, it is. Well, Johnny, you thought you could beat us. You dumb genie you bastard. You dumb blue lubricated genie, but you didn't record yourself. So it turns you were too out busy we too busy lubing your genie arms. <laughs> 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 and rubbing that tail for good luck and wishes and lucky fucking All charms. that lubricated rubbing. You think anybody makes it this far in the episode? Uh, this is pretty deep. This we're is like, deep in. Yeah, we're um, layers usually of Usually Johnny would be getting the last word here because he hung up on us. But turns out the motherfucker didn't record it. So Mm-mm. we get the last word. Yep. Any uh, any last words to the to the lu- luby... Luby Tubi Genie. How do you say how do you say <laughs> fuck you Luby Tubi Genie in Turkish? Um <laughs> Luby Tubi Genie Siktir Git. I, that, I mean, that, you, you figured out good. which part was fuck you and which part was Luby Tubi Genie. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Alright, this is a good close. Thanks for yeah. making it this far through the episode. Yeah. Cheers. We uh, hope to see you next time. We'll see you next time. Uh uh episode all about artificial intelligence. 
technology simulation simulations yeah uh it's gonna be fun it's gonna it's a wild ride it, it was fun we already recorded it joe what did i say i don't know all right fuck you johnny peace later